Hello and welcome to Perilous Pursuits, a live D&D podcast where a bunch of us nerdy-ass friends sit around a Zoom call and play D&D. Tonight we follow a fledgling group heading north into Ice Windale. Warning, some content may not be suitable for all audiences. Anyways, we should all roll for... The recap. recap. Okay, well I gotta roll this dice. This is gonna be another net one. Oh, six! This is amazing! It's getting better! 16. Oh, fuck. 13. 19. Uh, so we've got a Gord doing a ray cap today. No, he got a six. He got a six? Oh, it's sorry. a ray ray cap. Hey, it's, 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 it's a an proper, official. It's a, it's a official. proper ray cap. Oh, ray ray cap. Proc- ray cap. Where do we start? Do you have like a minus 10 to your ray cap? Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I like you to hear my own voice. So you should roll recaps at disadvantage. No. I don't need to. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> still yeah, it's still doable. Where do we? Uh, where do we begin? I don't remember how the. Uh, we, we were leaving. We had left town. Huh? Right? Are we on the internet yet? I didn't hear. Yes. Yes. Oh, it is. Record. Yeah. Oh, okay. We are but there's, there's about 20 minutes I'm going to chop off there. <laughs> oh, yeah, at least. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he caught all of the dick jacket part, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that show with that dick jacket? Yeah. What? So, um, previously on Icewind Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh start. Fresh start. We, um, I ventured forward as a party to go and rescue a previous party who's hidden in Calvin's Cairn. Uh, somewhere along the route, we need to rescue some folk, and we headed out and uh, met ourselves a whopper of a blizzard and uh, survived the night in a blizzard and then proceeded to get attacked the next morning by snowman. And uh, we've just defeated the snowman. And we're about to head forward further to try and find these people that live in the area. It's pretty good, right? That's What's the guy's name? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have my books. <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> books. The book that I pretend that I write shit in. Two <laughs> <laughs> words in it. That I've never written fucking anything in. You don't have your book, even though there's no notes. There's no notes in the book. But it's just the dicks in the margins. Dixon. Does he want to take this? I'm. I won't appreciate it. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm sure it's much better than my taste buds would. Uh, Enjoy. Spencer will love this. No, that's yours. Mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Yeah, mm. What's happening here? Here? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that uh, oral of the month we were talking about? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Drink just under the table. <laughs> like the best size of the table. I just hear this. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> <He's so mouthful>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Don't know what you're missing, Gord. Little, uh-huh. little, little scotch. Just have a little drink. <laughs> so you guys waited out the blizzard, proceeded towards <coughs> Kelvin's Karen. I had to think about what that was called. Hey, Art. Could you move yes. the mic a little closer to you? You're quieter than everyone. Oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> well, then I'll have to turn the mic a little bit. Just How about now? That's good. Okay, <clears throat> sounds good. Ooh, another net one. That fucking is the best dice <laughs> ever. I'm getting rid of that dice. Um, <laughs> it's three net ones out of six rolls or five um, rolls. You guys got surprised See, by a bunch nine. of That's- <laughs> sort of money snowman is. that appeared out of the snow uh they had weird shaped mouths and good oh. lord what is going on down there you guys <laughs> <laughs> um, metal there. Metal there. 
you guys uh, did battle with five or six snowmen, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he almost made a wolf into a snowman, but then he remembered things and then he felt a little less bad, but then just as bad. I just remember uh, this dog running away. Yeah, it yelped away. Took 80 damage. There was a dog, and then it was a druid, and then it was a dog, and then it was a druid. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> um, Quincy kind of saved the day with his repelling blast that oh, kept shit, barking yeah. and kept hitting everything. Mm -hmm. uh, smoke. Did smoke dropped down? Uh, no. Don't think so. I think he, you came very close. I think Maximus saved the day and kept smoke on his feet. Then, uh... They, you guys proceeded to go to the cart and you found some things on the cart if you guys remember mm. the sled, the broken sled yeah I found a yellow gem you found <laughs> a yellow shard uh huh uh, didn't even taste test it didn't even, I was standing <laughs> right beside him watching his hands and I still didn't see yes. him take it yeah um, Ponto found some iron ingots on there, uh, you guys found a weird shaped kind of like obsidian. rock obsidian colored 10 inches by 6 inches kind of teardropped in shaped a carved out piece of rock. Quincy didn't have much taste for it. In fact, it kind of like leapt out of his hand almost. I think Yeti picked it up if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if I wrote it down or not. We both were writing it down, and then I don't know what happened. Yeah, he picked it up, and then he Ponto... bitched about Ponto having everything. And Ponto's like, "Fuck you! I'm just using my bag to help out everybody here." Ponto was you trying carry to carry things yeah. with the bag that holds a lot of stuff. But if if Yeti wants the obsidian teardrop stone that. I don't remember if I wrote Seems it down. To or that, give so. No, I, I, I so took it's it a long it. cylindrical black stone. It's teardrop shape. Oh, teardrop. Mm -hmm. Yep. So is it larger at the tip or is it <laughs> it's larger, always at, the larger base? at the base? Ten inches by <laughs> ten inches by six inches. That's impressive. That's some girth. That's true. There was something about um, the... And that's where we find ourselves today. Okay, but mm -hmm. there was something about either the, the people or the corpse or something that reminded you of the cavern in Termain. Uh, Mayor Derugar. Derugar? Derugar? Depends on your accent. I mean, yeah. Yeti, yeah, yeah, if you're from the north, it's yeah. Derugar. Derugar. Deruger. <laughs> if you're that's a solar knight. Oh, yes. That's Deruger. a Deruger down there. Oh, <laughs> I get my land we call in the day. Your hair gone might need to sound like that. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. I'm, I'm not going to lie. No chance. He is much too sophisticated for being a southern man. <laughs> well, I do the clutch. Well, I do the clutch. Well, golly, sir. <laughs> If I would like to rise, <laughs> I say I am getting very angry here. That's got to be uh, Jack's uh, accent, Henry. I'm so angry. <laughs> I'm loving it now. Uh, yeah, I hated it at first, but I love it already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, you can have a split personality. <laughs> yeah. That should only come out while you're raging. Right? <laughs> even better. Uh, so that's where we find your guys' group is crowded around this broken down sled in the middle of this kind of like not clearing but like outcrop of like rocks and a bit of trees. The sun's about halfway, almost halfway through the day. <laughs> and we what investigated this cart. You've investigated the shit out of this cart. Okay. So no, if we piss. ever go back to the area, he investigated, he investigated the piss. Out he of did it. investigate <laughs> the yellow crystal Literally. out of this. <laughs> if we ever go back to that cavern where you want to perform your, oh, we're definitely going back. Thing, 
then potentially there's some way to connect this stone to the is it the stone that connects well, it's the people it's the same people the same kind of people and they're super rare people so maybe, maybe this is the key to unlocking untold treasures or... possible your amphitheta yeah yeah so maybe when you get home ray mm -hmm. go check your notes to see if you put it in your inventory and let me know i put it in my inventory you put it in yeah you put it in the bag okay. of holding in the bag of holding Maybe it's just like it's part of a dial that we can turn up to 11. <laughs> That's all raise excitement when rolling recap. <laughs> the opposite of 11. <laughs> Negative 11. <laughs> so what would you guys like to do? You're about it's still kind of morning, early afternoon. Day quite hasn't gotten away from you, but... Well, we didn't get anywhere yesterday because of the blizzard. We had to hunk it down, so maybe we should take advantage. Yeah. Everyone's rested now? You guys taking your rest? Yeah, we took a short rest. We took a short okay. rest. I sang a song, and everybody healed up, and I think I gave inspiration. Did we do a... No. I do not believe you did. Did I do a <clears throat> inspiring leader speech? You did that at the beginning of the day, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Well, uh, since we've all taken a short rest, why don't we um, just all gather around and I can tell you a few things I've learned uh, about Jack and Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Little stories. Just give six temporary hit points. Six temporary hit points. points there <laughs> that I never used. You fucker, you, you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that you know no idea how bad I rolled to not hit you. <laughs> the thing is, though, you can't stack them, so you only get six, even if you have six. I know. <laughs> I just wanted to rub it in. <laughs> All right. Well, since we're halfway up this mountain, no, you're not half. You're not even at the mountain yet. Okay. For you're me. halfway. Now I can't use mountain. this quote. Okay. Gee. <laughs> we need a we need an Aragorn not this day speech. I think that would really well. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm saving that for the right time, <laughs> like the final battle. I already used that one. Actually. Did you? I, remember I changed it. Yeah, my own. Oh. You must have gone to the bathroom or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was just role playing really well. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, when you get tired, you need to learn to rest and not quit. So we should. So we're doing this a long rest while we're or? having a rest. No, it's a short rest. Oh. <laughs> but that's a quote that was from Banksy. So Banksy. Banksy. Yep. Interesting source of the quote. Well, are you actually Banksy? Mark, I'm marking it off. How do you know Banksy said that? I looked it up. <laughs> but nobody knows who Banksy is. So how could how would they have a quote from him? He does like graffiti. He yes, does, he does, yeah. Correct. But he's also legendary for nobody knowing who he is. That's true. <laughs> who? Exactly. <laughs> See? Uh, didn't he invent Bitcoin? Yeah, we're a Banksy? No. The guy's worth like hundreds of billions of dollars for his graffiti art. Mm -hmm. Oh. He's the guy that sold something at the at the what's the famous auction house? Christie's auction house. <laughs> And then it's shredded it as soon as they pay ten million dollars for it or whatever. Yeah. And now they value it at like fifty million. Because it's a bunch of because shredded. everyone knows about that one piece that got shredded. Mm. It didn't shred all the no, way through. Half of it shredded, right? So it's still in one piece, but it's got all the shredded bits. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's impressive. He's pretty smart. And nobody knows That's who like, he is. Nobody knows who he is, no. Yeah. So how does he make anyway, money? <laughs> you guys are done resting. You've inspired your group so you can each get six temporary hit points if you don't have them already. Yeah. Um, what would you guys like to do? Let us go. I want to go sledding. I want to build snowman. Hey, okay. lead us. Quincy, hop on. Okay. Mark will show us where the mountain is. It's right there. Um, can we see the mountain? Kelvin's carrying. I mean, you'd probably see the general outline. Okay, like, he can't fuck it, it up that bad. It's over there. <laughs> it's all uphill from here. Head towards that thing, right? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Maximus is kind of on point. It's all uphill from here. I um, believe in you, Smoke. Uh, head towards that big triangle. 
you tell me when it's most appropriate, but I would like to look for tracks or footprints or because we saw people out here when we were having our long rest and we saw like okay. smoke saw someone By in the way, distance. You mean smoke? Yes, smoke. Okay. Yeah. But he told us about it. Yep. And I saw a weird creature. Find right, he didn't find anything, but we know there's someone else out here That's true, that isn't yeah. too far away. In the um, middle of freaking nowhere. Yep, middle of nowhere. So I'm going to keep my eyes out for that specifically. Okay. Okay. Mush. Okay. So, who, what's the marching order? I'll go first. The smoke is going first. And Quincy and uh, Ponto on the sled. Is Ponto on the sled? That's what the plan is, so everybody can travel at the pace they want to instead of the pace that I go at. Uh huh. Okay. Sort of hurtful to make this happen, but all right. We pat you on the head as we put you on the sled, <laughs> and we tuck you in a little. Right, we, 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 we need to get a, a child carrier. <laughs> a baby <laughs> Bjorn? Give me a big, get me a baby Bjorn, and I'll carry him. <laughs> Oh, it's called a baby gnome. What's Ponto's strength? But what is what is the gnome? I'm that's super that's strong. At 10. One? It's a baby suburb one. Technically, what is like the gnome, the rock gnome? Uh, that's the underground. Uh, uh, Ray knows right, so how to like, say it. What's that? The Smurf, Smurflin? Oh, the Smurberlian or whatever the <laughs> fuck it is. That's what it's going to be it's called. It's going to be called the baby Smurflin. <laughs> Yeah, his ar- his armor is special. It's magic. And what's your walking speed? Right, thirty. Thirty. Oh man, that would suck. <laughs> yeah, but <I'm> <laughs> you're a, you're an old man, so I imagine it's more like Both down. you're kind of like crotchety, you know, on your cane. I can pick up taking the speed small when I need steps, to. and then to get that last five feet, it's like you kind of trip over yourself and you get five feet more. <laughs> so where's Yeti and Maximus in this mess? I'll go, I guess, in the back. Or you were in the... Oh, yeah, you're on the thing. Yeah, I'll go in the back. I'll guard the rear. Okay, and I'll be right ahead of him, so... I'll guard his rear. So you're just going to go smoke, (laughs) and then the rope. Yes. So that's when Maximus is going to go, and then it's going to be... No. Quincy. I'll be behind the shield people. Oh, my goodness. I'd like to, like, deceptively, maybe at disadvantage, do a survival check, because I don't actually trust smoke to do what he's supposed to. A stealth survival? Yeah, I want to do like a stealth survival check. You're a backseat driver. <laughs> yeah, but like I'm not going to say anything. I just want to know if I actually believe that he's going the right way. Should it be insight yeah. versus my survival? <laughs> <laughs> I know he's going to roll nothing on so, his survival, but I want to like... We need, we need a survival check from Smoke, who's leading the party. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeti wants to do one as well, and then you can just message me or text me what it is. I'll just do it. I'm going to do it at disadvantage because I'm just going to do it like sneaky, like. Well. What was uh, Do you want me to text it to you? No, I want you yes. to tell me. Yes. Oh, 18. 18. Oh, okay. He did better than me. So Smoke's like, guys, we are going this way to the mountain, and he's like pointing right at the mountain. He looks at us, he's like, holy shit, it's right there. <laughs> I was like, I can't fuck this up. It's like losing a lake. Because I would never lose a lake. Mm-hmm. As you guys travel for the next uh, Ponto, give me a D4. Two. Perfect. For the next two hours, you guys make fairly good headway towards it, as you kind of see the start of the peak as it is funneling and curve like it's quite a jagged mountain and uh you guys kind of slowly crawl through not crawl through the snow but at not a great pace but as a at a decent pace as the light is starting to fade a bit um you guys continue you guys are kind of like at the base of them we're taking the green path. Is that- you guys are taking the. You guys took the green path, so right. to speak, and they took the black path. But 
So as we were passing along the southern side of the Dwarven Valley that we were told very much so not to go in, is there anything interesting in the Dwarven in Valley? Or Tempt us. Tempt us. Seems awesome. You guys have already passed the entrance into it. Both of these guys are like, I want to push the button. <laughs> we we, we want to walk along the cornice. The what? The cornice of the overhang of the valley. Oh, the outside. Uh, the edge of the Yeah. You want a bit of a rim job. <laughs> Hard to find a good place to this. I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys kind of make your way to the bottom of the mountain. Oh I was trying not to say it so badly. Um, you get to like kind of the base of the mountain and you guys need to make you need a survival check from everyone. Everyone? Oh. Am I still at disadvantage? No. Self-imposed? Oh, that's basically worse than disadvantage. <laughs> 18. 18. 10. 10. Want to? Uh, 13 plus probably zero. Your bodies. You're a leader, you have to know. <laughs> Plus one. 14. Oh, that's pretty good. Perfect. Okay. Um, it's a pretty good roll in general for a group check. Yeah, it's not bad. What did Gordon get? 18. 18. Oh, wow. Taking Yeti's ass at the survival check thing. <laughs> I'm a survivor. <laughs> Ain't gonna be please, well. please stop, Ariana. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well done. <laughs> you think it was that, that was yeah. pretty quick. He's like waiting for something uh, in the back of his. Uh, no, no, pocket. that was that. That just <laughs> came out of my mouth faster than I could stop it. <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta use that one. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, Ariana. Uh, <laughs> So you guys, for the next three hours, as the light is dwindling, you kind of searching for the base camp at the bottom of Calvern's Cairn. And I am going to bring you guys over to the map. Oh, no. We have a oh, map no. of Calvin's Cairn. Blacked out. We got something blacked out. Some mountain it's action. It's 8-bit. Zoom out. We got some eight bit graphics. Oh, there we go. Just let it load, man. <laughs> that apple on the other end. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Three twenty two hundred. <laughs> you guys get to the bad. the base camp. Bad voodoo. Don't and forget your own dice. <sighs> And all friends don't mind, but they don't roll well either. Don't want some two. <laughs> okay, that's it. You want my bard dice? Don't give them your dice. <laughs> no, they're gonna be cursed forever. So <laughs> at about here, at the base of the mountain, if you look on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is where you find a slow outcrop of tents, covered in snow from the storm before. You see a couple of tents pitched in the snow near an icy outcrop that acts as a natural windbreaker. Between the tents is an overturned sled, scattered goods feel everywhere, and still harnessed to the sled are five howling dogs. Hey, oh, those are two grand each. Hey, I think maybe one of your tents is here. I'm going to go up to the dogs and uh, give them uh, some rations. <laughs> You're going to approach the dogs immediately. Are they feral? They're not feral. They are They're sled, sled dogs. dogs. Yeah, yeah but they are harness still to the sleds but they are ravenous and you can see that they've broken into one of the crates that had supplies and obviously eaten the supplies you can into a, a sexy dog. a bitch yeah. a good looking bitch <laughs> <laughs> wasn't gonna go there but yep you could yeah. dog what do I do? Being humped by a bunch of dogs <laughs> okay you have to roll rings uh, for the dogs. 
it's 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 not our last ditch effort. <laughs> it's definitely not your A game, but it might be your B. I don't know why it was the first thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bottom of the barrel. <laughs> So I'll try to approach the dogs and uh, calm like them down. Funny, up and make up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting pounded by five cheese other bunnies. <laughs> 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 Okay, is smoke like speaking with animals or something? I don't know. Oh. I'm trying to calm down the dogs. I want to feed them. Eating the rations. Where are you getting your rations from? Well, I had uh, a whole uh, bunch so of rations. I bought. Hmm. I've got eight. I've got Wrong eight rations. Up. How many rations are you planning on feeding the dogs? I'll give them two. So how many dogs the are there? Five dogs, five dogs. You're giving two rations. Mm, that's not going to go over good. Yep. I'm. I'm going to help him. I'm going to cast good berries, and I'm going to do an animal handling check to try and calm the dogs while we. Okay, because like these the dogs, like they're obviously starving. They've been here a while. They they you don't want to get anywhere close to those things. Yeah, if they're if, still if, attached to the they're still thing, attached right? to the slide, but I mean they've got movement guidance. They've they've got guidance. movement or they're tethered. Well, like they're tethered, right, right. Or like you know, they so still obviously that sled is stuck or frozen because they're capable of pulling it. Yeah, is this sled stuck? It's overturned. I, it's overturned and but it, it's like it must flashed. be it must be like frozen in place because otherwise they would just pull the sled. It's okay, I'll roll at least three on the dice. So I'll I'll, I'll, I'll uh, assist you on the animal handling. Oh, okay. How could it go wrong? Oh, those plus, are both above ten. Plus a d4. Uh, I don't have a d4. I'll roll a d8. Where my two? That's a three. What, are you what? playing with a half set over there? What's going on? I got two dice. What else do you need? I got a D8 and a D20. <laughs> we have more dice. I don't know how to divide table. I can divide shit. <laughs> anti Laura Bailey. Yeah. Forgetful. I just didn't bring my dice. That's you, you didn't bring your dice. You didn't bring anything. That's 19. He brought, he brought his beer and chips. I brought my beer and my chips. What else does a guy um, need? Um I with a 19, I'd say you'd probably call him at least four of the five dogs. Uh, there is one uh, spot on the harness that has been chewed through, and there's no dog there as well. So there was six before, now there's five. Correct. So I'm good burying, so each of them gets a berry. So these dogs are all going to have a smoke shit, is what you're going to say. No. <laughs> it's a no, one it's, berry. It's <laughs> natural. <laughs> berry. Eating each of them two, or? No, one berry each. They're all oh, okay. Well, if he's doing that, I'm not doing my rations. You still have to minus your rations. That's, that's they funny. ate those first. They ate it was those the first. Appetizer. They, were, they were super hungry. And then, oh, um, damn it. Was like, you know what? They're still pretty hungry. I should probably give them some like good berries because mm-hmm. that'll at least make them feel better. So, you guys calm the dogs. Uh, they're not quite as howling and making the commotion, which is surprising because you figure you guys would have heard it approaching, but it must have been the wind covering their their noise and sound as you guys mm. found there maybe that's what guided smoke so efficiently and effectively here okay i'm going to try and use shape water to get the sleigh out, out of the ice or snow. okay all right roll yeah roll it's a charisma a i'm going right? to stand on the sleigh after Good. he overturns it <clears throat> uh 14. 14 yeah that'll be enough to like see that the sled is like obviously purposefully turned over and like it's been lashed down to a stake in the ground oh okay <clears throat> are there any other footprints other than the dogs yeah make a perception check okay. yeah if anybody else would like to make a perception check with that feel free yep I like what intense um... yeah go ahead. yeah well i got a four i got a six can i do investigation yeah. instead of yeah. yeah, if you're going in the Jensen's investigation, go right ahead. What did you roll, Yeti? You didn't roll. I'm just you're staying with the dogs. dogs. Smoke got a, a four. Or I got the highest roll with a six. What is twelve? Pond, okay, Pond good. Got a twelve for. But you're looking in the tents, not outside. 
So you guys don't find it, find any tracks at all. In fact, you're almost sure that there would not be tracks because of the amount of wind Blizzard. and snow Makes that sense. happened the night before. Okay. Um, in the tents, you find obviously gear, um, cold weather sleeping equipment, sleeping bag, the equivalent of a sleeping bag, kind of more like furs that get left here for people that are obviously using the mountain to climb up. Mm. This is kind of a centralized base camp for everyone. More permanent structure. It's still tents. The but tents are still there, but they're, they've been like they're permanently <laughs> they're affixed there. In. Yeah, they're dug in. They're hammered in and like chiseled, and like they've got they've got like multiple <laughs> layers over the top to like make sure the strain of the snow, if it's a heavy snowfall, doesn't rip and tear anything. Do the dogs look emaciated? You can make a nature check if you want to do that. The uh, trek was only done two days ago, right? Or no, the trek, they, they're, they're, they've been missing about six, six days. Oh. You don't know. Okay. Um, Maybe so they'd be hungry. They're definitely like they are like you can tell that they broke into the one crate and they like tore it apart. And they <clears throat> like the one dog obviously got the most. And then obviously, as things happen with the dog pack, things move to the back end of the group slowly but surely. And so the probably the back two dogs were a little more hungry than the front two dogs because the front two dogs would ate the most. So they feel much better after be, been given a magical full meal in a berry. But and we don't see any tracks of that sixth dog no. anywhere. So he no. left not before with, the storm. Not with your guys' perception. No, check. definitely not with the perception check. But so. it's possible mm -hmm. there's a big storm. Yeah. That I covered think, up I all think the tracks. Or we can get a sixth dog. Or a sixth cat. Uh, watch it, there, Quincy. <laughs> Does the stuff look like abandoned, like they left quickly, or it's like put away? No, it looks like it's kind of like put away. Your investigation was what at twelve? Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But somebody deliberately staked down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So obviously they're planning on coming back. Yeah. That did it. Well, they haven't yet. It's Are getting we, dark. No. Maybe we should make camp. Is it getting dark? I thought it was only it two hours noon. past noon. No, I said you guys traveled for about two hours, yeah. and that was about the halfway point. And then you guys made the next progression, which okay. was about another two hours. So you're kind of like four o'clock towards the well, call it even like three o'clock. The sun is fading. You guys are looking at this We're huge mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the middle of nowhere. Three o'clock is evening. Oh, it is at in the middle of winter. Yeah. Yeah. But so. the, the sun is coming across the mountain, not over the mountain. True. If you want to float that. Well, sure. I'm just saying, is based on the direction yeah. that we're traveling and where the mountain the is. The sun goes east to west still. That is true. So. It would go be going that way, so it'd be at the other end. Mm -hmm. So you know that the sunlight is fading. Good place. And to winter stop. is coming. Winter is coming. You know nothing. You guys are on a mountain, and if you guys want to make the trek, feel free. Well, let's, let's yeah, we could probably spend morning. night at the base camp, but uh, is there, maybe there's a way that we could set up a signal here so that if a lost dog or hey smoke signal well a signal so we throw smoke on the bonfire okay i'll just do a pull uh, down okay so if the person who's coming back for these the dogs got the lost and then they maybe they don't know where they are mm -hmm. and we can put up a signal here that would help them find their way back here yeah so we we or, put smoke on a stake pointing a certain direction then we burn them that would be a signal that'd make yeah. a they would have like signal. an impact. That'd be oh, quite the smoke signal. How loud of a scream there would be. Um, yeah. And I think I'll disintegrate him just to be safe. Disintegrate <laughs> <laughs> the asshole. <laughs> how, come, take that? how come there's I'm a cat up that. my butt right now? Level. I can cast it. Right? Is, is the smoke waking up with a carrot up his ass in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been happened if Te Teodor died. <laughs> uh, unfortunate day. Uh, and a sheer vengeance. You, you know what? I have all these backstories that just 
fly away now. That, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Like dust in the wind. Like dust in the wind. Dust in the wind. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. you guys are at the base camp. There's at least three tents that Ponto has found. There might be more that has just kind of like not been strung up. They might be like laying fully collapsed. Under the ground. On the ground. Me and Maximus can share a tent. How big are the tents? They're like at least two man tents. Uh huh. Or one smoke. Me, me and you, buddy. Maybe one Yeti. Uh huh. Not I, smoke. Smoking a Ponto might fit, but I don't smoking know. Smoking a Ponto? But definitely not smoking a Walk Yeti. Walking to a bar? <laughs> a smoking Pinto. Smoking a Ponto. Smoking a Ponto. Okay. So, so you guys, with light slowly fading, I'm going to hmm. use their tents. Is, right. Can we build up the shelter a bit around the dogs and give them some protection? Well, we'll bring the dogs into the tents. Mm. Well, what? why don't before we lose the light, let's do the smoke Four dog night. How does that work? What? <laughs> what? Just leaving you alone. It's a way. It's a. It's an Inuit saying: the colder it is, the more dogs are sleeping. That's that's <laughs> really true. I think that's yeah. talking about the. Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the dog days are over, Quincy. Oh, how you have matured. <laughs> <laughs> so, as temperature starts to kind of climb down through the evening, uh, the dogs are fine to sleep outside. They've been outside for this whole entire time. Yeah. Like they're acclimatized to sleeping in this. Did I get, like, I, I offered the chance to make some sort of signal. Did you create a bonfire? Did we make a smoke signal? Or are you just going to joke about how you want to stick smoke on us? A... I don't think making a, a signal out here in the middle of nowhere is going to attract anything good. To us. The guy's got to be not too far though, because their dogs are here. Yeah, if he was planning on coming back, then they'd come back, signal or not. Ponto, what do you say? You've got lots of experience in your vast <laughs> experience. Do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? Well, generally it's a bad idea coming from Maximus, but maybe this one isn't. I don't I, I, I don't want to just side with everybody to say it's a bad idea, Maximus, but we're being sent here because they were expected back already. So if we were to draw attention to this area when they should have been back already, it might not be the attention that we want to draw to the area. Yeah, if they're already yeah, on their I way back. Said... <laughs> that we is why Ponto is our leader. So smart. I can leave a message here though if they come back a different way okay that's probably better i just gotta drink a lot of water and i can leave a big message in the snow <laughs> yeah. it's more, more of those peacicles yeti with you, <laughs> they'll come down with fucking yeti was there here was a yeti here, here. <laughs> oh he can speak common <laughs> even dotted his eye <laughs> what were, what were we told the goal of the other party was? So we had we're looking for the guide mainly, but there was another I party. I asked him, and he didn't tell us. Yeah, he was really kind of vague, about sketchy it. about what the what the reasoning behind it was. You would assume the other party probably wants to summit Calvin's Cairn or something, right? Like, are we planning on? Do we want to stay at this camp and wait and see if someone comes back, or do we just? Ascend the cairn tomorrow. Um, I don't think that we're going to get away from ascending the cairn because we got Quincy who really wants to sled <laughs> and Smoke who really like, wants what? to get closer to the sun this because that's where it's warmer. This isn't really a sledding map. <laughs> That's yeah, a that would hurt. That would hurt. That's that's a lot Are of rocks. Are you kidding me? Look at the sigma. <laughs> it looks so warm up there at the top. There's, there's maybe two lines that you're going to pick off of this, there. but this is. It's not, it's not going to go well for you. I swear, if you get to the top and jump on the sled, I will make you make checks and you'll mm -hmm. die by the time mm -hmm. you hit the bottom. I can guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> he only lives once. That's right. Is there a um, noticeable path or a 
reasonable, recognizable path from here to heads up? Uh, you guys will probably have to kind of search for the most optimal. I mean, you would have advantage on the survival considering you're from the mountains, Yeti. But this but base camp doesn't have a path that yeah, with like a rope that has like tie off no, points all the way up. It's not you're not because this is that kind a, of a permanent sort of camp thing. Like there's yeah. nothing to say like these routes particularly like there's no mapping or anything. Little nook on the um, side. I mean, field. you already rolled an investigation check. You didn't find anything. A little black diamond sign, maybe double black diamond. In the morning, I'll maybe do a survival check and see if we can see triple, if I find triple something. diamond X's skulls. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring a sled; it's not sled. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring a shield and use it as a sled. <laughs> Don't let them steal your dreams, Quincy. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> Just dream so hard your dreams stay dreams. Okay. That's the inspirational speech I need. Don't let your dreams <laughs> don't let dream. just be dreams. I'd get seven bonus hit points for that one. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I have a dream. You guys are at this base camp. Sun's going down. Let's make know. sure we got enough tents. You've got, you've got five good berries left. Well, yet it does. There are five of us, right? Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. give everyone a good berry. Okay. <coughs> I'll eat a good berry. I will also eat a good berry. The wind is definitely picking up, let's say. You are farther into the expanse of the tundra. It's flatter, and you've got this effect of the wind coming around and getting sucked down to the bottom of the mountain. Is the Which base camp... Uh, in it is protected. It is protected by an ice shelf, but I mean, you guys can hear the wind just starting to mm. not like vibrate the mountain, but it seems like it because the wind is really howling. Is there a campfire spot here? I mean, not that you can find with the blizzard, but I mean, your Yeti, you'd be like, there's a campfire spot here. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no distinct already spot. Sort of no, I mean, the, the most of these places are like, okay, you manage the camp, uh, eat inside your tent, stay inside your tent till sunlight is well, till it's morning ish. And then let's get up and get on our way. So we basically, up early tomorrow. we have to decide who's sleeping in whose tent. And we I vote for I vote for Ponto and Smoke to fit in a tent because, you know, big and small and they'll fit. So you Yet he probably gets his own tent. Because he's too big to pair up with anyone. Deal. And Quincy and I'll have to share a tent. Oh boy. Poor soul. I'll take that deal. You know the scene in like uh Home Alone where like, oh, you have to sleep with your cousin and he's been drinking Coke all night. Yeah, I'm gonna be feeding Quincy lots of drinks. Hey Quincy, have another drink. <laughs> <laughs> Quincy, I have to have six of these good berries. That's the only oh, way. You don't have six left. <laughs> 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 and then, and then at night, I smoke is just like sewing the flaps of the tents together, so there's no escape. Pencil. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <coughs> you guys. Kind of slowly end the day. You're all kind of paired up. Um, are you guys taking a watch? Have you you guys would have talked about setting a watch? I'll take first watch. I'll take first watch. Don't worry. I mean, I no, you no, I'm good. Uh, I'll take first watch. You're not trustworthy. Are you saying this to my face? <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Well, I just know that it's better if I take first watch, then I get a longer time to sleep because second watch is the worst watch. I don't want second we'll just watch. Just take third watch. Yeah, but then someone has to wake me up, and it always I, it's hard for me to wake up. I'm already awake right now. I'm just I'll take first watch. Persuasion. No, I'll accept your weird. Because <laughs> you know I'll beat you on a persuasion. Uh, I, I will assist Yeti in defending that persuasion. <laughs> assist him. <laughs> I'm not going to make it unless I, the DM calls for the role, but 
Role play. Uh, That's what I think. I'll do take first watch. Okay. You want me to wake you for second watch, or mm-hmm. do you want to take third watch? No, it's fine. All right. Quincy, you and I are on first watch. God, I love playing with Mike some days. Just freaking <laughs> ridiculous. So you guys uh, start your long rest. You guys are bedded up, smoking Ponto, Yeti's in um, the tent. His feet are sticking out one end, so his head is at least covered. <laughs> I got my big mane wrapped around Ponto. Oh, I'm so kind. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to leave that one alone. Uh, <laughs> leave it alone. Which mane? Yep. <laughs> so nice. The sock. Um, Quincy is in his bed all cozy and tucked in while Maximus is kind of like blankets on and is like kind of like head is kind of like out the window just kind of like as the snow is starting to fall the dogs are kind of just like all oh god there's secret messages everywhere we're dead but before morning comes <laughs> there's a coup gonna happen that's why I installed you as the leader You guys are... I have this magical ring on, so I'm not actually that cold. Yeah, even with the ring on Maximus, it's starting to get cold. Oh, but there's furs in the tent, right? So I can just bundle up. But even you notice, like, you were walking, and it's like, oh, it's it's not super cold out, but it's cold. Okay. And, like, even though you're just, you're just, like, even on this mountain, you're like, holy... Is it the squeaky snow cold? Thanks, Lord. Uh, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, so, um, so um, we're on first watch. So you are you're on first watch. No, the two of us. Sure. Okay. Yeah, the two of us are on first watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the two of us, we can take turns during our length of watch to, like, actually keep our eyes looking outside the tent. But I think, like, we don't need to be outside the tent. We just have to be looking outside the tent. What if someone comes behind the tent? Well, I'll I'll listen. We'll still be up and awake. Okay. And then you take a turn looking outside, and I'll take a turn looking outside. (laughs) Okay. Okay? Yeah, you want perception checks from us? And what's the weather like overnight here? Is it, like... Uh, well, we know that the weather was pretty good for the day you guys were traveling from camp. <laughs> you guys are both so <laughs> These two are playing with shake weights over here. Perception? Yeah. I crit. Oh, perfect. I got a for, 16. A total... for, for a total of 23. These dice okay. don't go that high. <laughs> Rolling D <D10s> and multiplying them. <laughs> um so your guys' watch you can definitely like it is getting colder. It is like creeping into your bones and you can see why like the tents are stuck here. There's like lots, there's like double the amount of furs you would normally find. Like it is obscenely cold tonight. Wow. How are the dogs doing? They're all together. Ooh, big giant puppy pile. I'm in there. <laughs> no, you're in your tent. <laughs> um, jump Ray at the bottom of that pile. <laughs> at the bottom of the pile, yeah. Six dog night. <laughs> Police are not cheap. Um... <laughs> Quincy, you got you rolled a 16. I mean, you guys are paying attention. You're like, it is like bone chilling cold out here for you. Like you're just like it's like your your like your arms are almost cramping. It's like your knee and your hip on the one side. It's just acting up because it's so cold here. Um <clears throat> During your watch towards the middle and the end, uh, Maximus, with your crit, you see 
this weird orb of snow as it slowly kind of pushes out and kind of just like turns and, and, and you see it and then it just kind of slumps back down and like did it look like one of the snow creatures that we fought? Probably a really, I mean, you guys didn't get a really good look at them, but you definitely, like, it, it could be the same. Okay. And it gave, it gave one of these, like. Yeah, pretty much. And then, like, kind of just, like, it, like, turned and looked, and then you just saw it slowly kind of move forward and just sort of slump back into the ground. And from my perception, from, the, from my perspective, mm -hmm. do I think it clocked me? Absolutely. Uh-oh. Okay. Hey, Quincy, I, uh, I saw something out there. There's there's some snow creature or whatever that's, that what? knows we're here. What? Where? Out there. Where? I don't, I don't see nothing. Well, he went away. He, he's out there, though. He's just hiding under the snow. Well, you go look. Well, I looked. I saw him. What? I know he's out there. I just, I don't want to go out there. Who pooped snow? No. I'm safe in this tent. We're going to be fine. But I'll just warn Yeti when I wake him up that there's something out there. Well, he's in another tent. You better go get him. Well, I thought you were going to go get him. No, I don't have no... Yeah, I'm going to... No. <laughs> That clocks is right on point for Quincy. Okay, well, how about how about you take a pee, and I'll go wake up Yeti. Okay, just a second. I'll open up the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it out the tent. Right oh, in the front of the door. Oh, that's cold. Oh, oh. So you see this stream shoot out. It's kind of like <laughs> roll steam. For, roll for stream. Yeah. Roll steam for coming wind. out of there. <laughs> I just got the, just the, just the tip is sticking out. <laughs> just the tip. I said roll for win. Uh, Sixteen. Oh damn! <laughs> the wind is definitely like definitely coming across. So you see this. Does it hit it's, another jet? Is it curving? No, 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 no. I already thought about that. <laughs> okay, so it's not curving towards Yeti's tent. No. Okay, so I can leave the tent and go the other way towards yeah. Yeti's tent. Yeah. And I'll wake Yeti for uh, his so watch. As you're walking out of the tent, uh, he, Quincy's kind of like doing his thing, but he's paying attention. Oh, to I'll you. wait till he finishes. You, you both talked about this thing outside the tent, and you take like one step, two step, and your leg just poof, right into the snow. Whoa! Hey guys, um, I'm 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 in the snow. There's something's got me. Get to wear your snowshoes. You just kind of hear Quincy just giggling a little bit. He's like, "You fucking idiots!" <laughs> <laughs> and then he just kind of like moves his head, and he kind of just like back up into the snow. And you're like, "Oh, <sighs> for fuck's sakes!" <sighs> I think I had a heart attack. All there. riled up for nothing. <sighs> <sighs> As you walk over to Yeti's tent. He played you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And you rolled a crit, too. <laughs> Perceived the fuck out of that. You perceived like you were like, holy shit! I saw all of it, guys. And so I, I, I figured it out that what I saw was just Quincy being a doofus. <laughs> so when I wake up Yeti, I won't mention anything. Did you see anything? Nope. It all okay. was clear. It was all dead. Okay. I will take my watch then. But keep an eye out just in case. Oh, I will. Okay. Sleep well. And protect you know, us. you might want to go. Uh, the puppy pile there looks pretty warm. You could, you could. You do you. <laughs> he I just get... told you to masturbate. He said, "You do you." <laughs> <laughs> I get back to my own tent. Okay, role play that, Ray. Tent? Quincy and you. I mean, Quincy isn't quite asleep, but. He's still in the tent, though. He's still in the tent. Yeah. Okay. You idiot! <gasps> I'm trying to pay attention here and look out for the group, and you're Yeti, pulling pranks. You this that. is serious. <laughs> Shut up. 
You ever ting, heard the ting, one ting, ting, about ting. the boy? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to do that. So, uh, I'm like, this is almost as noxious as that guy who goes ting, 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 till you guys are almost all asleep, and then he goes to sleep, and he's like, <sighs> you have like permanent exhaustion? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Spencer, real life. Yep. When, when I hear Ponto going tink tink tink, I just my tail curls around and the and the sock goes right over his mouth. You don't have a prehensile tail. <laughs> what? It can curl around. Cats don't like their tail moves, but it's not like an appendage. It kind of flicks back and forth. Yeah, it's not right, like you just, have a I will flick Ponto yeah. when he's going yeah. tink tink tink. Just You've been that. flicked. So warned by the uh, white I'll warn Quincy. I'll say, you ever hear that story about the boy who cried wolf? <gasps> wolf. Nah, don't worry about it. Forget it. Just go to sleep. Smoke, I think they see wolves. But do we need to battle? Is it time to rage? You guys are asleep. This is our watch. No, we're... <laughs> Ponto woke me up with his tink, tink, tink. Tink, tink, tink. I went tink, tink, tink out to ten, ten, ten. <laughs> so I will say <laughs> that um, Quincy, you probably fall asleep a little bit faster than Maximus. Okay. Because Maximus has kind of had his adrenaline. adrenaline just kind of shot up a little bit. You kind of <laughs> snickered and kind of laughed about it. And then you emptied your bladder and you're like, I'm <laughs> now it is very late and just kind of cozy in and kind of find like a spot where you you've warmed the furs and just kind of stay there you're like holy shit it's cold out here as you kind of like pull everything over um yeti you kind of start your watch as the wind is still blowing it starts to snow a bit through the night uh, you can make your perception check if you'd like Ooh. 22. Um, definitely um, you're having like homesick vibes standing at the base of the mountain just kind of like a bit of missing home and just like the whole I walk away. A walk away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand. No, from the away past. from the party. Never no, just leave and go home. You, you just leave. <laughs> That's a long trek you're making, man. Um, but I mean, you can get up and walk around a little bit. You're you're used to this, but even you are just kind of like pulling out a little bit of like your furs to kind of go over your shoulders and kind of cover up because it's even you and your hearty condition. It's, it's freaking cold tonight. Where I will create a bonfire. Uh, I'm going to do a survival check to know how far away from the dogs i should create a bonfire so i won't spook them that's also a 22. okay yeah you you put in an appropriate amount of space away from the dogs i want to get it as close to the dogs to encourage them to use the warmth without spooking them <laughs> uh they they're kind of all snuggled together and like okay. as the snow is falling on them they've kind of like made this like dog loo of like <laughs> dog loo, dog loo. <laughs> of like this like, and you just see them they're kind of they're all like kind of snuggled in and kind of like curled in like noses are under arms and yeah. they're all kind of like good deal in one like actual sled dogs do in the middle of the night they just they just sleep outside mm. with a bunch of them all together um obviously they're still lashed because you guys wouldn't just like oh i'm gonna cut the lash and poof, they're all gone so you guys wouldn't have done that. You would have been smart enough not to do that. I go so, cut all the lashes. I definitely would be smart enough for that. They need to be free. I free them all. Do you really do yeah. that? Yeah, they just still don't move. Okay. It's the middle of the night. But they're uncut. Yeah, they're still like all together. <laughs> and now we don't have a sled. <laughs> but you still have a sled. You I don't need a sled. sled. I can fucking walk. We're going to... Slash, right. We're gonna cut this trip wanted, in half. I wanted one of those dogs to be my mount. I could have made a little throttle. Well, I'll be friends with them. All you gotta do is be friends with them. You just have to befriend the druid and have him turn into your mount. Y'all cries a little bit. He thought he had Ponto's mount. 
Uh, I couldn't even uh, finish my sentence before both of you had a quip. <laughs> um, Yeti, with your perception check, you you would have like walked around a bit. Um, mm -hmm. It's quiet outside, other than the wind. It's hard to pick up noise. Maybe it's where you are in this weird part of the ice shelf, and the the wind coming around your camp. It's also so it's, hard to get your hands on it. Um, Not when up, it's six inches. To pick up noise. Yes. Uh, All right, yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Just stonewalled it. Um, your watch goes by quite uneventful, other than your kind of fleeting memories of when you were growing up and, you know, your time up in the mountains with your people. And an appropriate amount of time goes by. Uh, it's the next person's watch. I'll wake smoke up. Okay. I'll, uh, over to I'll wake stand. up and I'll say, uh, did you see anything? It has been quiet my entire watch. <clears throat> Maximus reports nothing. I also see nothing. All right. Hopefully it'll be like that tonight. I'll uh, put my... Uh, Furs on top of Ponto because he's not getting my body warmth any body warmth anymore, and I'll uh, I'll just kind of do a a circle around the camp and the base of the mountain. Big tent over Ponto. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> he's just trying to mute the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Ponto is sound asleep finally. You hear the, he's dreaming and his arms are moving like he's going to hammer something. He's <laughs> <laughs> like a dog. He's just twitching like he's in, in my sleep, I'm just pulling tools and belts and bags. And just... <laughs> but smoke covers you back up as, as Yeti he climbs back into the tent and kind of curls up a bit to try and find a spot where all of his body fits in the tent. Um... Smoke, you kind of like do your stretch as you walk around, sniffing the air and just kind of like kind of furs on and just you put one on top of Ponto and you grab the other one, you kind of like threw it over yourself to kind of like as sun is starting to slowly kind of lighten the eastern sky. Hey, uh, and I raise the my my uh sock, it kind of looks around. There's really a white sock on his hand. <laughs> what? Not Have you got props, Gord? Yeah, that's probably his sock. <laughs> you just took his sock off. Are, his yeah. <laughs> Are you LARPing right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you cosplay going on? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, do a, I'll do a circle around the camp and just yeah. Take your perception check as like morning is starting. Is to dawn. John Year is Ooh, me. this is gonna be good. Uh that is a five. Um as you got as smoke is kind of finishing the last of the watch. Uh he's been walking around and kind of like finds a spot and kind of slowly comes up and sleep is kind of just kind of nodding off a little bit as and, uh, the morning gets away from a little him a little bit. You guys all get about an extra hour, hour and a half of sleep as smoke has kind of nodded off a bit. Um, Quincy in his old man wisdom, the sun is up. He can see the tent is lightning a bit and instantly his bladder must relieve himself and he flies out of the sleeping bag it's kind of like yeah. <laughs> fuck off you're kind of sewn in a bit <laughs> <laughs> this is your sleeping bag tomorrow <laughs> you're sewn into the sleeping bag or the tent no the sleeping <laughs> bag <laughs> Bag, <laughs> yeah, roll constitution. Oh, shit. On a night of not peeing. Oh, <laughs> no. That's a panic attack. <laughs> is there a good berry in that one? 
Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, it's not like, number it's, one. It's number two. It's like it's happening. It's happening. Oh no! There's a turtle head poking out. I won't say you shit yourself, but you've let a little pee out as you find a couple of the strings and clamber out and start trying to undress yourself as you're midstream. Mm. I've left the tent. Oh, I don't know about that. I, I anticipated I, this. I would have I would have I would say you're definitely easily awoken by the rustle and the sudden and you're like gone. Yep. I used <laughs> like to make you're, a you're like you're sleeping so lightly that like immediately as you hear the shuka shuka <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> no! Not a good time! And you're like, gone. No. As Quincy finds his knife and cuts through some furiously, he pisses a bit and then gets out and I would have played a panic attack if someone sold me into it. Yeah, I, was, into I, it. I when I was a kid, we used to have these mummy bags these go. down yes, walls. Yes. And I woke up backwards and oh, oh, that would fucking kill me. That would that's just so bad. That is bad. bad. You can just barely fit in those things. You're like your arms are like this. How did you get in there upside down? Yeah, that's oh, yeah, wild. I fell asleep and I rolled up in my sleep and face down, right? Oh god. I would I would just yeah that, that freaks me out. Around. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just makes my anxiety yeah. rise thinking about it. <laughs> As you Quincy has a very uh sudden start to his day, the rest of you hear the rustling and commotion and wake up from your night's slumber. Uh, you can all take a long rest. Yeah. So choose to. So we go up a level. Nope. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Are you uh, sure? Quincy, can you roll me a d20 and Maximus as well? <coughs> Crit. Fail. <laughs> oh. Even better. It's wither and bloom. <laughs> we got a 20 and a 1. Looks like a sled day today, Quincy. It's a spell for wizards to heal. Wither and bloom? I believe so. Um, you guys are woken up to Quincy rustling and jumping and making a bunch of noise as you guys kind of all awake from your night of slumber the grace the grace sky is still there it is kind of overcast as always but the snow is starting to lighten up and kind of seems to be stopping at least I'm going to shape water the pee out of my bed. That's a brilliant use and of that spell. Out of my... <laughs> and... Yeah. And where are you going to put it? Just this, this slowly, this liquid kind of <laughs> operate out and like freeze while in the air as it's as like you see just Quincy's hand going like this and just staring at Maximus going. Maximus didn't ass. say he took his uh, sleeping bag away. He got up, so just so you know. Yeah, where's his water bottle? <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> I would have all of my personal belongings. Oh, oh, sleeping really? bag. Food you didn't today. say it was on your personal belongings. No. <laughs> we just uh, got up. We didn't get all our stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, Plus. So, you guys start your day uh, as light is coming. It's overcast. The snow is seem to be letting up. That happened through the evening. You can see the dogs start to rustle and move and kind of shake off as they kind of like move around. Um, they discover that they're obviously not attached to the sled and kind of slowly start to make their way. Hey, what? How? The dog. Hey, dog. They're making their way home. Hey, dogs. Uh, how I've got some rations. I'll try and tempt them back to the camp with some rations. Oh no! I, Come here, boy. What happened? Oh boy! Do they go I for mean, the? Do they go for the food? If you're gonna offer, you're gonna have five, five rations. Sled dogs. Yeah, I got five rations. Oh, then you can expend the rations, and yep. they will come to you and eat. Okay. Can I attempt to tie them back to the stake? Yeah. All five of them? Well, they're all lashed together, still, right? Yeah. No. They were, I would have yeah. cut them free. I wouldn't 
keep them tied together. <laughs> well, I mean, they're all together in a pile. You just yeah, you didn't wake them the up sled. individually and I unleash. wouldn't keep them tied together. They were all tied together, sleeping in a pile. No, but he. The question is, was there five ropes going to the sled, or was there one rope going to five leashes to the dogs? Basically, that is the question. There's one rope that goes up the middle, and then there's yes. a leash that line Correct. that runs off each one to that rope. So, which is how sled dogs work. Mm -hmm. So if there's one rope that was cut, the five of them are still lashed together, right. but not lashed in. I wouldn't. I would say it connected to half the of them are freed, and because you found the lashes and cut three of three of the five free okay so do you want to roll from me so if, if you are going to be like them? hey there's food here they're yeah. going to be all like dude yeah. it's food, more right. than time yeah it's, they're domesticated dogs who, right who got the dogs free and, and kept them lashed together that's just really mean <laughs> <laughs> did gord catch any of I, I don't know yeah, he powered through like <laughs> what did i say what did i miss <laughs> you missed the who, who, who cut the dogs out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah. Thanks, Gord. <laughs> oh, that was good. good. Shut up. Um, they will definitely all rapidly approach the guy who's pulling out food because that's what they know. They're like, oh, we're not tied to the sled anymore. They come over to the people that are in the camp. They're like, one of them's pulling out food. Hey, we're staying here because we're eating food, and then they're gonna like. <clears throat> so I will feed them food. Yeah. I have rations to spend. I'm gonna subtract five. Sure, great. And then I will attempt to tie the lead string back to the stake, or so any of the only, other ones that are. There's three dogs that are cut off the main lead. Okay, so. And if you want me to roll animal handling to try and get those abs, three, you're gonna have to roll animal, an, animal, 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 animal handling. Anomaly. Thanks. Yeah. And I'm gonna attempt to cut the other two free. Well, okay. He's attaching it. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's attaching mainly. I'm cutting the side leads off. <laughs> yeah. I've got an eight and a four. <laughs> the dogs. The other dogs get cut as you're lashing the main line back yet he just comes up and just kind of goes cut, cut. okay oh yeah I wanna, some of these guys are still attached we gotta let them go i want to also address yeti and say yeti mm. uh these dogs could be really helpful especially if they pull a sled yeah but... and they, they would die if they were left here so we gotta let them go for sure that's a good don't call. you want to take care of them i agree I, I think maximus does a good point guys we need to let these guys go you don't want to feed them i fed them already so you don't they, want they to eat a good very like eight and a half hours, ten hours ago, yeah. and they had a full meat days worth of food now, because that's how much the ration is. Yeah. Right. So, smoke fed them a ration. They were starving. You right. fed them good berry. Brought them good for the night. I fed good them breakfast hours, in the morning, and you fed them yeah. a whole day's worth of food in one meal. So they're good. So head home. Do they? Go uh, home. Do they go after Ponto at all with his bacon in his pockets? <laughs> no, it's in the in bag of holding. In the bag of holding, don't you care? Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's in his pocket dimension. Pocket bacon. We can't take them up the hill, obviously, so that's why they're last year. That's true. They, they would have taken have them to, with them if they could have. So right, we would we have to set, have someone stay here with the dogs and take care of them while the rest of us went up the mountain. Yeah, and that wouldn't be any good. Well, I was going to volunteer. We need the full team. But Are you going to volunteer to stay here by yourself, Maximus? There now. Yeah, they, they've eaten their fill as like sled. Oh, uh, they eat like. That, I never thought of that. Fast wild enough, I guess. And they finish their meals. They kind of look at you and they're this all. This was kind of your like ticket to riding the sled. And what are you talking about? We got a ticket up the to hill. What are you talking about? <laughs> Anto, now's your chance to hop on one. So maybe you keep one of them for yourself. Uh, it would have been good, actually. You could have had a mount, but it, they're way over there. You got to go get them. One dog. <laughs> we'll miss you. Stay safe. I just want to wrap it. I just want to mention to everybody how committed Maximus was last time. Really impressive. He he was really focused with his with his studying, and I even heard him scolding Quincy for not trying hard enough. So I, I appreciate what you did last night. 
Excellent. Well, you, you know, me wrong. even the longest of journeys begins with a single, single step. Foot. Yeah, that's so, true. I think Buddha told me that one time. <laughs> Um, and with that first step, do you that, fall into a hole in the no, storm? No, it's not the Jesus book. It's not the, it's not the Jesus thing that was in my bathroom when I was a kid. No, no, that's the footsteps on the beach. I got oh, that one. So yeah, I got that one. We all know it. Okay, I'm good. pretty sure that was the Snagger motivation no. thing. Get in the footstep. <laughs> he is really funny. Is there's a guy I work with, and he's working. He works for Fring Winery, and he's Austrian. And nobody picked up that he sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger for like <laughs> forever. And then I, he, I, my boss answers the phone, and he was like, "Oh, it was Joe from Fring." I'm like, "Did he say get to the chopper?" And he like looked at me. He's like, "Holy shit! I never did realize that he sounds like Arnold." I'm like, "Well, he's Austrian. He sounds exactly like him." So. Now when Joe calls, it's always. Mm -hmm. Arnold, <laughs> especially when fun. other people from Fringe call yeah. that know Joe, and we talk to them like we're Joe. It's even better now. <laughs> so oh, away the actually, dogs go. Yeah, away the dogs go. <laughs> and with our combined <laughs> efforts, I think we have inspired each other on to. <laughs> you can all more take hit your points. six temporary hit points. We should have at least I mean, killed them, and then we would have had enough food. You're ruining a beautiful moment. Yes. Smoke. Yes, oh. smoke. We don't do that. No. We don't eat dog. Um, oh, we eat dog all the time. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Alternate food supply. Eat some dog tonight. Uh, it's doggy style. <laughs> While we're getting ready for the day, can I identify the the black gem? The sure. The teardrop shaped yeah, you, you one. You can roll for it. Yep. I have to roll for a snake I'm, coming I'm, out of that uh, window behind you there, Art. You can ritual Pardon? cast it though. A right? Snake coming out of yes, the window yes. behind you. Snake coming out the window. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to make sure. Are you just happy to see me? I don't know. What What <laughs> do you roll? What? Is That's that? Quincy. Is it Arcana? Is it intelligence? Is um, it... it's Arcana. That's Quincy being out of the tent. <laughs> it's not nearly that big. No. Nineteen. Oh yeah. Not that um, <laughs> I'll let you know what you find. Oh, okay. Okay. Is, it a, is it a secret? Mm -hmm. All right. It's also stolen. It's in my inventory. So. No. Yeah, I wrote it down. No. So. We don't know. Your notes aren't here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my notes are. All right. Let's let's just my... Negate my emotions then. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not I just negating. wanted to identify it and give it back to you. Why are you being so sensitive about this? Uh, it's fine. Um, oh, I didn't know those two were married. <laughs> also takes 10 minutes while the kerfuffle of the commotion of starting the day is and ritual casting i might uh, buy dogs <laughs> finishing casting. Yeah. bye puppies bye uh, potential mounts I, 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 was, I was totally getting taunt on one of those dogs no, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. watch last night <laughs> even better than they let them go i like how you think ponto there's not a dog big enough for you, Spoke. Um, there's a were there's a, a a werewolf there somewhere around here. I seen. You guys are starting to start your trek. Uh, I need a marching order as you guys start to explore and see and find a way up the mountain. Smoke. I'm not, feel pulling, I'm not pulling them up the mountain. I'm, you guys are going to have to walk. What? We are carrying the shield, though. I'll carry the shield. Okay, good. <laughs> There's no carrying the shield when you go straight up a cliff. <laughs> you strap it to your back. Yeah. And, and you guys know, like, you can see, like, at the low lying area, you can kind of see, like, it's not just like. <clears throat> It's like you can see natural progressions of like, not switchbacks, but Spiral. you can spot like you can see kind of like, path. like a, like a oh, rough okay. path, like going. Oh, now that it's lightening up, you're like, oh, I can kind of see. 
this is probably where that may be a point where they started, but you can kind of see multiple options. Okay. So that's why I'm asking who is heading the foray up. Well, I think it'd be a good idea on a mountaineering adventure like this that we all uh, tie ourselves to a long length of rope so that, uh, you know, if someone slipped, uh, the others can catch him. Take him with them? Or that. Okay. I mean, then maybe you just hold on to the rope then. Okay. Do you want to hold on or do you want me to tie you to it? No, hold on. Okay. Actually, so, I better tie myself to it. I'm only. There's not a lot of holding going on. Yep, he is. Here, let me tie turning. you. Okay. Uh, so now I have Quincy on a 50 foot leash. Do you want to lead us, Yeti? I finally did it! I have Quincy on a leash! <laughs> it's tied around his neck. <laughs> it's around his waist. <laughs> but like, um, since is, episode one, is, I was like, we gotta get this guy on a leash. Who is leading the trek up the mountain? The Yeti is. This is more your kind of... Is your thing, I'm it? googling climbing creatures mountaineering terms no i'm googling what kind of creatures can it do and turn into that <laughs> a mountain goat what do you uh what do you think about this smoke should we go this way or over this way over here yeah let me uh help you decide <laughs> giant mountain goat you're gonna give me advantage yeah you would have already got advantage you're in a mountain mount vantage mount vantage 22 again sure um <laughs> You see this kind of weird track or path uh, for your hand. That kind of the, with the base camp starting down here. Uh, you make your way slowly up through this. Not here on this nice zigzag path? Nope. It kind of cuts in and around and uh, you kind of slowly make your way. Um, I need everybody else to make a strength check. Yeti, what you're good because you're leading. Nice. <laughs> it's a drawbridge. It's like very phallic. <laughs> Something I'm going to sit on. Strength. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just a straight strength check. Yeah. Or, or athletics, athletics, I should say. Okay. Athletics is yeah. different. Okay. Sure. Because I'm proficient really? with athletics. A bard with athletics? Yeah, because no. Yeah, because it helps bring a minus yes. one to a plus one. <laughs> yeah, but uh, smoke at eleven. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's a good thing I'm not pulling you on the shield, eh, Quincy? I rolled a three, so I got a one. <laughs> oh, shit. It's good thing he's tied to the rope. Good thing he's tied to the rope. Who else is holding the rope? Well, it was there for everyone to hold. Okay. That would have been tied off. The only one who's tied to it. Yep. Um, <laughs> I would think that I'm also tied to the other end of it. I, I would assume Smoke would have also, out of respect for his elders, probably tied himself to it. Yeah, as I would well. have tied myself. That's good. So we have three people tied to it. Yeah. Ponto, are you tied? There's or is no it? way it's that Ponto would yeah. tie himself. I didn't even, I didn't it even put it out there because I knew Ponto would be like, nope, <laughs> no. I ain't fucking going down with that ship. So it's, it's kind of like, you if know, anybody goes down, Ponto is screwed. When, when people first learn to water ski and uh, they wipe out, but they don't let go. Yeah, it's yeah. a little bit like that. You kind of, this, this part of the track takes you about... 45 minutes so i don't like know what yeti rolled or doesn't, smoke he doesn't rolled. Need to, i don't know what smoke rolled in a an 11 and 11 yeti didn't need to roll because he was leading you guys right i got a four i also got a four <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, you're not tied go. to the rope. i'm not tied to the rope. so it, after about like 45 minutes you guys are kind of like making the track and you're like and yeti's like for fuck's sakes he's like 
coming back down and leading one of you up. And he's like, comes back down, Ponto's uh, up there now. And he's like, looking at the three, he's like, what the fuck? Like, we were up both the, just, we're going up the mountain, guys. We're dragging what behind the fuck smoke. is up with that? <laughs> and it takes another hour <laughs> and a half, and you guys slowly. Painfully. So he's tied to one end of the rope. Yeah. Smoke's probably tied in the middle, and I'm tied to the other end, and smoke's just dragging So it's Yeti and Smoke that are <laughs> dragging a field. Two. Yeah. <laughs> I might as well hold you on the shield. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So you guys finally make it up to this corner. Uh it's about quarter to nine. We're gonna take a break. I hope but... the trick on the way down goes a lot easier. <laughs> we'll definitely go faster if you go yeah, that way. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Quincy, are you holding the shield? Half, like... No, he's, he's got it on his back. The Smoke whole way up? Shield. The whole way up, you make the half pipe? Yeah, the, I think The bobsled run? <laughs> As we go up. <laughs> Sheep water. You're making a luge course. Yes. What yeah. you're making, a yeah. luge course. Skeleton course. Anyways, As you go up the hill. Yeah. We'll see you guys in five minutes as we take a break. So guys, as we make it up the first section of this uh, mountain journey, uh, you guys are sweating a bit as the wind is kind of sloughing off of the slopes. Um, you guys come around this section and uh, Yeti can kind of see with his great uh, eye, can kind of see the path as it's coming through. Oh, I didn't notice you had one big eye before. That is uh, it's Jesus. fucking great. What? That was magnificent. I just edited that out though. No, that's fine. No, that stays. <laughs> yeah. So you guys see the path as it climbs up. It kind of goes level. in this section of rock before it kind of gets to this weird <laughs> expanse beyond. As you guys climb up, uh, you see a pack of mountain goats that are on the slope, uh, on the outcrops of rock above you smoke sees the goats smoke oh smoke. man he starts See milking a pack of mountain goats <laughs> I, throw, I throw my javelin at one of them what <laughs> that's not how you milk how a goat. far are they away i mean roll an attack with disadvantage how far, how far are they away? away they're like up the cliff like you oh, can see I, them. I thought they're like i thought they're like 10 or 15 feet above me they're like fifth, like fifty feet above you. Oh no, I wouldn't throw that. Yeah, but I mean, there's a pack of them. There's at least a dozen up there. But you can hear hear them. Yeah, you could probably milk them if they're sleeping. Look at that sweet, sweet goat milk. See, I am sweating climbing up this thing, and you know why? We're getting closer to the sun. <laughs> you're not wrong in that An inspirational quote you're not you are getting closer to the sun it's not getting any warmer smoke for some reason you're, it's like opposite you think it's actually getting colder so you guys can see this pack of goats as they kind of like all herd of goats as they kind of like are kind of like jumping down the rock as they kind of some of them kind of creep a little bit closer and they kind of get within about 30 or 40 feet as you guys are passing underneath them almost here goody 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 <laughs> you can kind of see their like weird fucked up eyes kind of like turn and look at you nah, as they walk past uh they're 30 feet above you you could just like bam up there <laughs> I could cast sleep on them. Yeah, oh. and then they'd all fall down here. And they could milk them. Yeah. Well, what are you waiting for? Don't no, no. Quincy. Within 15 feet, I could lightning lure one closer. <laughs> you don't have consent. Edward Crabgrass says you have to ask first. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the there's first no man grass up here? I consent. <laughs> <laughs> um you know that as you kind of get into this rocky outcrop the howling wind and blowing snow kind of make uh whatever this next section look a little more slick than normal especially with yeti kind of paying attention to the snow He's, he thinks the next section might be a little bit more difficult to 
traverse, let's say. It's easy. Let's go. You got this. Ponto, do you want do you want to hang on my shoulders with this pot? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pat myself on the shoulder and cast guidance. <laughs> All right. Um, I need a marching order as we go through this next section. So we know that Yeti's up front. We know that Smoke is at the front of the leash. No, he's in the middle. In of the, the middle, leash. middle yeah. of the leash. At the front. Quincy's at the back. Ponto, where are you? Ponto's looking up the rear, making sure everyone's safe. Catch up on people. Quincy and I are probably, you know, I think I'm getting the hang in of the this. middle there. You're real side by side. I had a roll to 19. So yeah, it, it makes no sense how you tied it to me, but Smoke thinks it's fine. Yeah. I'm two feet wall, two feet tall, and with my armor, I probably weigh like 70 pounds. If anybody goes down, I'm done. I can carry 70 pounds, pounds like nothing. <laughs> you're like our anchor. But you're the back, though. Yeah. Tie yourself to me. I'm, I'm doing great now. All right. Okay, I got I 19. I carry 70 pounds without thinking. <laughs> I'm going to let you all talk about this before we trek forward, so make your choice. Uh, do we have our snowshoes on? I yes, you smoke. have your snowshoes on. Smoke. Yeah. So you should tie to me. So as you guys are at this just rocky outcrop... like you're carrying a garbage can. <laughs> just let me... Just or just get like a back. child, just fucking under just arm, just back. like in your... Like a double go. bag. Yeah. I can carry four times normal weight for my size. You, you weigh nothing to me. Just jump on my back. You wanted a mount. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hey, die. Guys, maybe he's got some weight issues, okay? Maybe he's sensitive to that kind of stuff. Don't pressure him. I'm doing, I'm doing right? great. I'm doing great this time. No, he's got heavy armor right? on. Just don't fall. Because you're in the back, so no one will catch you. I'm doing, I'm doing great this time. Okay. It's okay, Ponto. Sometimes okay. denial happens to all of us. Just, just hang in there. You've made, you've made your uh, athletics check, Smoke? No. Okay, make oh, one, please. Shoot. It'll be Quincy and I catching Smoke. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got 21. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you got 19, 19, 17. Oh, I thought you had 14. 19. I did good, man. Okay. Yeah. So you guys kind of like are a little bit stronger here as you guys are kind of like moving out. You're kind of like, you're kind of getting the snowshoes and kind of like walking kind of like sideways almost like as you're, as you're climbing, almost like kind of like on the bank a bit as you're kind of going across this section up ahead. Uh, Yeti, what is your passive? Perception. Where is that shown? Front page. Front page. Front page. Uh, it'd be sixteen, I think. Okay. Uh, everybody else, make a perception check. Yes. Yes. And twenty-one. Five. Seventeen. I'm just concentrating on climbing. So who got? 21. 21, 5. Five. 10 for smoke. Yeah. Yeti? 16. Well, I didn't roll, but 16, I guess. Yeah, 16's 16. your passive. 17. Okay. All of you but Quincy hear the distinct. And you kind of feel this kind of tremble as like the ground is kind of shaking a bit, and you're kind of like all looking up as you're kind of like moving and move. Like, and you look up and you're like, Oh, for fuck's sakes, as you see the snow start to kind of slough and compact as it's starting to funnel down this section. This section of snow is collapsing down the mountain on you guys. So is it coming down the path towards us or is it oh, coming over the top? This is, this is funneling right down through this section. You can, like, you guys are... Who's guiding us down the avalanche chute? Shape water is you guys are walking and your guys are walking through. Um, this next section will be a bit of a skill check challenge as this avalanche is bearing down the mountain towards you guys. Give me the shield. 
Quincy, you got a five, correct? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, everybody needs to start making Ponto. Your movement speed is 25, but are you on top of Yeti? No, he refused my help. Okay, all right. Everybody needs to make an acrobatics check as you guys are starting to crunch through the snow here. Do you have time to wild shape? Uh, probably not. Okay. It'd be more... I mean, if you want a wild shape instead of doing an acrobatics check, sure. What's the check for? To fall off the mountain? Uh, no, the acrobatics is starting to like hustle your fucking your ass through this section. You. Well, I want to turn to a crag cat because I have a climb speed. Okay, a climb speed is great when you're climbing surfaces. This is more like you're trying to go through the snow to the other side as fast as your Goliath feet can take you. I want a wild shape into an elf because they can walk on the snow. An elk? Elf. <laughs> That's Legolas. not an animal. Legolas. I want a wild shape into Legolas. <laughs> Wrong <laughs> campaign. All right. Acrobatics. Net 20. He, he, oh, I got 11. 11. 11. 19. You got, you got a nat 20, Yeti? Yep. Ponto? I'm going to have halfling luck and reroll my one. No, no. Oh, I, I could use oh, inspiration on this. I got a 10. I have inspiration. Can, go ahead. What did you roll, Smoke? A 10. Good. Okay. Dirty 20. Yeah. That's a 19. Whoa, okay. Can I we burn my inspiration. This. Quincy all of a sudden has to go pee and he doesn't want to do it right in the middle of the pack. <laughs> <laughs> did you roll for acrobatics, Quincy? 19. 19. Yep. Wow, Pretty. that's a good collection of rolls. What did Smoke get? 10. Uh, and oh, well, all great rolls except Smoke. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Quincy um, passes Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> you see 20, 20, Quincy right? kind of slowly kind of like making your way. As you can see, the, snuff, the snow is sloughing it down and you can see the you can see these chunks barreling down the mountain as it's collapsing and it's like getting closer as you guys are moving towards uh we'll need one last oh, acrobatics no. check as you guys are hustling um ponto the dc's a little Ooh. higher for you i'm gonna use my your legs are a little shorter i'm gonna use my oh, no my, my sorry lucky. um i think that Someone like Quincy and Maximus are just a little more motivated to to move their ass. And Smoke is like, well, you know, I'm this little bit of snow. I'm I'll be fine. I got a dirty Hi, 20. Lucky. Woo! What? We'll just wait till everybody's done rolling. Maybe Quincy because he keeps using his lucky points. An Eleven. <laughs> oh my god. I got a twelve. Twelve. Well, eleven two, for two. Quincy. <laughs> Yeti, sixteen. Ponto, twelve. Oh Smoke. no! Dirty twenty, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so Smoke is basically bringing you two uh -huh. with him uh -huh. as you guys feel the snow is catching you, and and you guys all barely make it out. Um, we'll do. We kind of style. We'll do. <laughs> Fucking lucky. Like everyone will take seven points of bludgeoning damage as you kind of smacked around by the snow as it's coming through but you all have barely scraped your measly asses to the other side and i mean barely we lost else? our temp hit points <laughs> perfect oh, don't you say do it that. like that how often can you do that <laughs> oh temp hit points oh never mind i'm gonna stand up here Seven rest. Yes. So the sound is deafening as the rest of the snow from 300 plus feet above you kind of barrels down and you can see like it is taking trees out. It is ripping rocks as like you see stones kind of being flung in the air as this massive avalanche goes down and you, you guys are just like all on the ground and yet he kind of pokes up and looks and it's like he clocks it it's at least a thousand feet down this mountain like you guys if you guys would have been in there there goes your luge run it's all 
avalanche on now. Yeah. It should be nice and smooth now. We're all alive. So easy. It's a good thing we let those dogs go or else they would have been buried. Yeah. Probably buried underneath there anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they made it out. No dogs. They're dogs at the farm now. Podcast. <laughs> they went to they the, went farm. the farm now. Mm-hmm. They're fine. Um, you guys, as you make it through this avalanche sectioned area and continue along this path, um, Yeti picks up kind of like he can hear this yelp and this you can from hear below? no not from below <laughs> from in front of me like, as you can... oh, <laughs> it was the greatest one um you guys can see in front of you there's a, a, another dog that is like i don't know what he's doing but he's he's barking he's making a commotion over this area and he he can see that you guys are coming in he's making more of a commotion and uh as you guys kind of pick yourselves up as you trek forward so whether you guys approach the dog what i befriend the dog so as you guys are moving forward towards this you can see the dog is over top of a body that is laying down you can see that blood is strewn on the ground and you can see uh this person has tourniqueted their leg bandaged their arm and like is laying unmoving from the ground I, here. I, I picked the body up and actually hold it cradle it to try and so you can't the dog won't let you guys get close to the body he is over top and he is definitely the alpha dog because he is definitely bigger than everybody else so like Yeti, if you want to befriend the dog, feel free mm-hmm. to roll an animal handling check. Just wild shape into a bigger dog. I could, I could just eat it. Let's poke. I will. <laughs> I, uh... Where do you poke for guidance? <laughs> on the ankle. On Yeti? Right on Halfway the up his calf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Oh, One thing. finger or two. <laughs> yeah. I laughed. Nobody else did. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So I will try to do an animal and we'll check on yep, the go ahead. You <laughs> had guidance. You had guidance. I know I got the I got Tears the, the Okay. <laughs> but, but, the default. Oh my god, just roll a D4. <laughs> Uh, that is 14. It was a d20 divided by 5. Um, oh, that would have been smarter. That could yeah. be two <laughs> okay, I'll roll again. No. Uh, <laughs> the the five dog five. doesn't befriend you, but at least, like, kind of because you're like, it's okay. Just don't worry. As you can kind, of put your body kind of underneath it, and you can be like, the dog has all four legs over top of it. it is it is protected? Okay. I want to person. call out to. I want to call out to the individual who's hurt there. Uh, with they a healing unmoving. word. With a healing word. Okay. I'll. Word. Bird. <laughs> bird. Oh, bird. Bird is the bird. <laughs> bird is the word. <laughs> bird. 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 <laughs> Okay, mark off your spell slot. <laughs> As you cast healing word, you can roll your Z4. I think I just took a D4 of psychic damage. I know, I did personally. <laughs> okay, here's the healing word. And I'm actually going to roll a D4. Oh, Two plus man, you could have gotten up to eight if you would have so rolled a better D4. You <laughs> altered it D4? I rolled four on the D4. Switches to two. <laughs> so you cast a spell out, and you can kind of see this body just kind of go. <gasps> <gasps> what would happen if you roll one? You As he's half? coughing, yeah. mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you can see this no, dog just kind of going ecstatic. Three and four is two. And uh, and the dog is licking his <clears throat> face as he's coughing, and he's kind of like, oh, no, no. Oh. Oh, he, he's he's barely opening his eyes, and he's like, "Who's who's there?" Because he heard the word "bird." Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the what was the guy's name we're looking for? Gareth. 
Gareth. Are you Gareth? No, I'm I'm Garrett. Oh, Garrett. We are lost in translation. Wrong guy. Are you the guy we're looking <laughs> for? Let's, let's keep going, going, guys. It's the wrong guy. <laughs> we're looking you for seen Garrett. Garrett. Yeah, we're yes. looking for a Garrett. Now, good luck. Like... I apologize for my friends. <laughs> oh, you wasted a spell on this fucking truck. <laughs> As you guys cast <laughs> healing word on him and start your conversation, uh, we're all going to roll initiative. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. only has five hit points. Okay, I'll one punch him. <laughs> Ponto. Oh, <laughs> Six. I think I might have beaten Quincy. Five. I'm liking this better. Maximus? Eleven. Uh, smoke? Seventeen. Yeti? Seven. Well, let's see. Oh, you guys suck. <laughs> it's the goat. <laughs> so as you guys kind of come forward uh, <laughs> Garrett kind of goes so <laughs> don't just stay away and the dog is kind of and protecting him and excited that he is moving around as uh, a pack of cats slowly have snuck their way above you guys as you guys have made your way towards him and I will roll two dice. Uh, one of them's Yeti, and the other one is Quincy. Um, the cats it's attacked? Yeti and Quincy. Yeah. Oh, I'm a cat. No. Oh, the cats are attacking you. Ah. Uh, an 18 and a 19 plus something hits Yeti. Both of those definitely hit. And a. A 16 hit. Does that hit you, Quincy? Oh, yeah, I got 11 arm class, so yep. I'm going to fuck to 11. <laughs> I'm not much better than that. 11? Yeah. What are you wearing, a loincloth? <laughs> <laughs> a bathing suit. A bathing suit. Uh, <laughs> Yeti, you take seven points of piercing damage as yes. this. Uh, I'm an old man. <laughs> this cat jumps up from above you and bites into you, and Quincy, you take six points of piercing damage as the cat does the same to you. Bad kitty! Is seven from they... one attack or two attacks? <laughs> from one attack. From one attack. Okay. <coughs> you both need to make strength checks now. Okay. I'm going to use stones oh and dirt to negate this the damage. This is my best stat! Which will negate five points of the damage. <laughs> Six. Okay, uh, you are knocked prone as it goes down. Strength check is seventeen. Okay, you hold off the cat as it attacks you, uh, Quincy. Uh, you get bit again for another six points of piercing damage as the cat bites into you again, as it is trying to finish its job as. These things are called bad, hunters of men. Bad kitty. I turn into that. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I want to shape into that. I want to shape into that. It's a beast. It's something. something. I won't do that then. How mm. big are these things? Uh, they're large. Like they're all white. <laughs> they have huge paws. Teeth poking out. Kind of look like a lion face, a little bit bigger than a bobcat. Yeah, Uh, these are technically crag cats. Oh, that's what I am all the time. No, crag cats are technically monstrosities. What in Icewind Dale? Really and truly, I'm looking at this sheet, it says large monstrosity on a lot, but you let me turn it down. I know. I let you turn into. Oh wait, you didn't. No, it's a large beast. The one I have. Yeah, I know the one you have. 
Oh, you like a super crack Yeah, kid? yeah, yeah. He's got the beast mode. How many hit points you got over there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to add a one to the front of that. Nope, you can't. <laughs> I can do that. I'll add a one in front of it. How about that? Um, so we'll go top of the order. Smoke, you're up. I would like to bonus action Raja. Okay, you can Raja. And I'm going to attack the one that's attacking uh, Quincy. Okay, yeah. So you, you rage. Um, does something happen when you rage from your path of the ancestor? Well, I don't know what it's yes. called. So if I hit this creature, it has disadvantage on any attack that isn't against me. For the first turn. Uh, for its next attack. Mm. While while I'm raging, the first creature you hit with an attack on your turn has disadvantage on any attack that isn't against you. And when the target hits a creature other than you, that creature has resistance to damage dealt by the attack. Okay, sounds, sounds good. good. You almost want to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. never hit on his first try. I thought I would like let you guys know what his rage does. You mean smoke uh, does thing? I got a natural one. Smoke has never hit anything ever. <laughs> one damage plus rage. <laughs> yeah. Shriek. That means you attack Quincy. <laughs> that was for a five. A natural one with a five. Plus Doesn't it? But if he hits Quincy, then Quincy gets resistance against all the damage. <laughs> against his own damage. Uh, I'm going to try to stand in front of Quincy or stand over top of Quincy. You cannot do that. That cat is firmly planted in alpha position on top of Quincy. I, I can't right. kick it or anything, eh? Nope. You've swung. You've missed. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to stand beside it and try and kick some snow in its face. Hurry, oh, yeah, you can do that. Hey, cut that off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Quincy. I, I was meant for the cat. One, he doesn't like fall prone. He doesn't like uh, drops his weapons. Does he drop all his weapons? Yeah, drop all his weapons. <laughs> I dropped the he shield. Hangers at his belt and fall off. <laughs> and can can I take action. the shield off and put it over top of Quincy? <laughs> no. Games in range and there's another. Um, <laughs> After smoke uh, swings at the cat on top of Quincy, uh, you see this cat digging its claw in on Quincy. Oh, good. Uh, that's a 17 plus something to hit you. Mm -hmm. um, where's my pointed inverted? You take four points of slashing damage as this cat digs into you, as it stands on top of it, holding its ground. Uh, Maximus, it's your turn. That hardly even hurt. I can't even do four points of damage. I do so much more than that. <laughs> How many digits is your health pool right now? It's one. Yeah. Oh, I know it's one digit. <laughs> no, it's a uh, one. <laughs> it's all <laughs> one, really? No, 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 one. Six. Oh, for Fox six. Uh, six hit points. How is it that thing good two attacks in one turn? Uh, it's part of its, like, pounce. Oh. Mm. Okay, uh, how many cats are there? Uh, you see two. Oh, because only two of them have jumped down. Well, you see two. That's what you see. Okay. One of them is attacking me. Yeti. The other one's on smoke and has just no, like... The other, the other one's on Quincy. Quincy. And you can see blood being splattered across. Protect the healer. <laughs> I'm the healer. No, I'm the healer. You're tied to him. That's right. Yeah. I'm so tied we'll be able to save guy. his corpse later. <laughs> they can't take it away. <laughs> I am going to take out my longbow and shoot me. <laughs> Put him out of his misery. Yeah. <laughs> they don't eat. They don't eat dead animals. They, they're not be better than scavengers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot at the cat attacking Quincy. Okay. Okay. Hey Maximus, that was mine. Yeah, and you've done so much. Yeah, so. you've done so good. I know. I was like, so what? Yeah. Of course, yeah. you didn't hit me with your roll. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I would. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I rolled a seven. 
Never let that old fuck. You kind of pull the bow back and kind of haphazardly let it go before it's fully drawn. And this arrow goes boom, right beside Quincy and the cat and smoke. And you're like, oh, shit. shit. Um, but the sound that resonates from the bow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, shoot, now where's my <laughs> list? You shoot the crotch out of uh, Now it's got air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> he's got he's got a permanent ice cube maker. Uh, the sound that resonates from the bow is... <laughs> and I give uh, Quincy inspiration. Bardic inspiration. Yes, Bardic inspiration. That's a D6. Do what? Do what? To what? Uh, attacks, whatever you like. saves, abilities checks. Yeah, attacks and saves. Including death saving throws. <laughs> you can really <laughs> use the Seven Nation Army it. right now. Yeah. Seven Nation Quincy. Uh, um, so. For a bonus shot. action. Now it's your bonus action. Yep. Yeah. So. I've shot, and that yeah. goes off as yeah. part of my action shot. Yeah. For my bonus action, can I reach Quincy? To do to what? Isn't your is you can move? I just want to know if with he, if he's within. You reach. can move up to Quincy. He's about like ten feet away from you. Yeah. Okay. I just we don't have yeah, a map to know yeah, where know. we're at. Either. So I'm like, how far am I from him? Where are like ten feet away. Yeah. I mean, you're within moving. You should flank that cat. Flank that cat. Flank of that cat. Is it flank. possible? I mean, you can range? if you want to move. Get behind <laughs> that. No, I think um, I think the weapon that I've decided I'm using, I'm gonna stay at range. So <laughs> I'd like to. You can. You you know you have oh, enough God. movement to move forward to get to Quincy. Sure, but I'm tethered to smoke. Yeah, which is like. So like you so, know there's like oh yeah, I'm like twenty five feet away from smoke and yeah. ten feet away from Quincy. I just like Call to it fifteen. Okay, I'm pivoting myself away, even though I can't I can't leave the twenty five foot range of smoke, <laughs> but I can at least get further from Quincy where the sure, cat is. Yeah. Well smoke's standing directly next. Yeah, so I'm behind, I'm putting smoke between me and the cat. Yeah. And I'll use my bonus action to a healing word, Quincy. Okay. Sure. Um, I'll say, Quincy, uh, g get up and uh, fight like a man. That's a little toxic, I would say. <laughs> really? Coming from you. What? That's interesting. Well, how much you give me? Well, we'll roll about, it right now. About four. Let's see. Plus four. Four. Oh, it's just four. You I just want to say that I think oh, yeah. all oh, genders. I have to roll it. Strong. <laughs> okay. Just okay. Thank you. Just to declare that I all right. feel like. Perfect. Yeah. Well, that's you feel not like your wife. Like, you don't have to stand up and play like a man because a woman can be just as strong as a man. They that's all be, I'm saying. But in Maximus's <laughs> upbringing, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the. Yeah, he was. I understand that. Yeah. yeah but Legal thanks you for that, Ray. <laughs> the legal. <laughs> so, so, so you got four hit points back. Okay, Maximus's turn is done now. Uh, from the shadows above that kind of crept through, uh, out crops another cat and jumps down on top of uh, Ponto as he is startled from this uh, with a. <coughs> Uh, 26 to hit you. No chance. Yeah, that'll hit. Oh. <laughs> uh, eight points of damage as he bites into you, and you need to make a strength save. So good. Well, it's so not good. a one. Are you dug in? You're healed. So yeah, you snow. You have advantage, right? Because of something. <laughs> Because didn't we say that Ponto always has three quarters cover because he's 
it's smaller than the snow is high. Yeah, the snow, like his head is under the snow. <laughs> he can't breathe. I feel like <laughs> there's only a head above the snow. Right? <laughs> like, what's he going for? It's like playing golf with your head. <laughs> okay. Your head uh, is teed up. You drop prone from this cat coming down upon you. And Pumped you take... <laughs> oh, no. You take another seven points of piercing damage as it bites into you as well. Yikes. Yeah. And there is now a third cat that has come down. It's a three cat night. It's just too much pussy. It's a lot of pussy. Uh, for one Yeti, you're up. Onzo, you're on deck. Um, Yeti. Yeti is going to. There's a cat on Quincy. There's a cat on beside me. you. And there's a cat on Fonto. Yeti is going to make sure everyone's aware that he's turning into a wolf. Don't attack the wolf. <laughs> I'm going to be a wolf, guys. We're going to fight these cats. We're not going to fight the wolves. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Kill wolf. <laughs> is, is there like a distinguishing mark? No, I'm a wolf and they're cats. Yes. I was going to turn what into if a another wolf cat? shows up. There won't be another wolf. Let me get you mixed up. Hey. So then I turn into a wolf after I've made everyone keenly aware they don't have to attack the wolf. Guys, it's me. I'm changing. I'm a wolf. Bye. It's a bonus action spell. Move and Riley. Actually, it is a bonus action for you to change. Wild your, oh, yeah. That's your, uh, move. Okay. Do I have an action person. spell? I have a fairy fire. You're going to fairy fire before you change? Yeah. Okay. I will fairy fire the one. The area. Well, the one beside me is the only one that isn't engaged with somebody else, right? I mean, if you on top drop of... fairy fire, it's a twenty foot cube. It is, yeah, but it cube. affects everyone in that yeah, front. Yeah, cube. but is there a way for me to drop it to the cat in front of me, but not hit myself or anybody else? I would say no. Okay, you're gonna catch at least. I'm really small, laying on the ground. Yeah, so it's really going to catch you easily. Well, but if he puts it like four inches above the ground. That's right. <laughs> Cast it into the air above Ponto's head. Air burst. All right, I won't. Oh, I'll create bonfire on the guy that is right in front of me. Okay. What does he need to do? Uh, dex save DC 14. He needs to die. They're good at dex. I'm sure they're good at dex, but it's uh, all it I got. saves. Okay. Half damage? No half yeah, damage. It's, 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 uh, so it leaps out of the way a little bit as you create this fire that so jumps the, out of the ground. So he gets attack of opportunity? No. So the uh, bonfire stays there yeah. for now. And then uh, I'll, I'll turn to wolf then. And that's my turn. Ponto, you're up. Quincy, you're bringing up the rear. I know. But now we've got a source of fire that we can push them into. Mm-hmm. I mean, not me, I, not Quincy, not Ponto, because we're all weak. Yeah. <laughs> Are we on a cliff face at all? Uh, no, it's kind of like this slope that is, you've got this rocky outcrop that's got spots of snow, which is probably why you didn't see the cats coming down. But there's no uh, edge of a cliff near us. There is like an edge, like you can walk off the edge here, like you got like easily you can walk and just go poof, right off or, or throw something off the edge i mean you're probably a good 30 to 50 feet depending on where exactly you guys want to walk are, are these large then for monsters these are large creatures oh, yes okay uh i'm going to attack okay I'm pull my hammer out and i'm going to try to slap the cat in the face with the hammer on top from, of you yep. from the yep. ground from slap the ground pussy yep with ass pussy. Okay. Uh, a 14 to hit. That hits. Whap. Whap. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought what I said was like. Eight points of damage. <laughs> yeah. Six of it being thunder damage. Okay. And then I will bonus action. <laughs> Unarmed strike. Okay. Oh, nice. Get Which it. is with my thunder gauntlet because my, my <coughs> uh that's a ten to hit, so that's probably that does not hit. 
So you reach out and clock it with a hammer. It kind of, you hear this, ah! And then you go to like reach out and punch another hand as it kind of deftly moves away and kind of still holds its position on top of you. Um, and then I'm going to use have my movement stand up. Yeah. And I will steady myself and not cry. Okay. You steady yourself and pulls in your those tears. It's behind the armor, so you can cry if you want. We won't know. With the These Iron frozen Man face. tears. Um, Quincy, you're up. Uh, you Quin- are. Quincy's gonna cast <coughs> invisibility on himself. Okay. Invisibility. Yeah. All right. The cat is on top of you. Uh huh. And you cast invisibility. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Sure just, you, okay. I'm just exploring all the options. <laughs> Is it a full action to try and get loose of the cat? I mean, it's it's not got you pinned per se, but not you're crack. gonna. We're just, you've been knocked prone. Okay. So if you I'm cast up, invisibility, yeah. and I'm gonna, he's behind me. We no, we're both no. tethered to smoke still. He's like 25 feet. Behind you. Smoke's right in front of you. He's 10 feet behind you. Smoke, smoke. cat, I'm 25 you. feet behind smoke. Okay, I'm, I'm as far away from smoke as I Absolutely. Do. Okay. And I'm going to crawl between smoke's legs and get behind him. <laughs> the, so it's you're terrible. tying up his legs with the rope. Yes. You used to go around. You feel like an ATAT walker. You take me down. <laughs> Wait, does the, does the rope turn invisible when you go invisible? No, who's no. in possession of connected to you, right? Yeah, but it's I can not use his my possession. free action to untie the rope. Yeah, if you want. Sure, you can untie yourself. I'll allow it. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So you yeah. untie yourself, cast invisibility, and then you slink between smoke's legs to go to the other side of smoke. You tickle okay. him. You poke him up the bum while you go by. The free you, action. You go. Take him away. <laughs> 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 you go off that cliff, uh, Quincy. No one will ever know. Do you do you walk away? Yeah, you crawl away. I should I'll say. Crawl away. Yeah. Okay. It'll take an attack of opportunity. It it's can't advantage. Disadvantage. Except you're prone. He's no, it invisible. Can't, it can't have, invisible. have an attack of opportunity. It has to see a creature. It's true. Technically, oh, yes, yeah. it's true. It doesn't get it. I think oh, you wow. should still get it, but technically, you don't. Okay. So, so you'll crawl away yeah. as the cat is like noticing that he's kind of like you see it furiously trying to like pin down what was there and it swipes and moves as you kind of scamper away. So you've moved. You're invisible. Is there a bonus action? No, I have no bonus action. If you do anything, I will become visible. Hmm. I don't need to become visible right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least, the last cat will kind of go that is on top of Yeti, and it will take uh, two attacks at you. Well, one attack. It'll. Oh, that won't hit you. Um, it probably will. That's uh, 14 to hit. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. You need to make a strength save. You take. Uh, that's a lot. 12 points of piercing damage as this thing bit into you. Holy 23. shit. 23. 12 damage? Yeah. No. I rolled really well on You must have D10. added that wrong. No, I did not. <laughs> thank you. But I, no, thank you. You're um, supposed to save those for your attack. Yeah, so that's its turn, and we're at the top of the order. Smoke, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, Just get really, really mad. I'm already raging. I'm going to do a huge roar, daunting roar. Okay, yeah, absolutely. And uh, so all creatures uh, within here, here, earshot. Yep. Uh, or within 10 feet that can hear me. So Let's that's. See the... I would say that's probably only the one cat that's like you and Quincy are around. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, wisdom save DC 14 or he's frightened. Can he reposition himself before he walks? I mean, if he backs off, he can, yeah. Okay. All yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I want to get as many as I can. Okay, so it'll that take an all. opportunity to attack on you. Um, that hits uh, with a 21. I think he's... Yep. Um, and eight points of piercing damage have to four. So now you can roar, and I will roll a... Is it all creatures, or is it the ones he chooses? Oh, the know. ones I choose. So all the oh. all the cats. All the cats. It wouldn't matter. Quincy's deaf, so it wouldn't affect him. <laughs> okay, what, what kind of roll am I making? Uh, DC 14, wisdom save. Um, the wife, one so on Yeti <laughs> saves, but the one that you backed off of uh kind of cowers down and kind of like his ears kind of fold down a bit like I, he's got a little bit more fear and is a little more fearful of you it's frightened of me until the end of my next turn correct okay uh now that was my bonus action yeah i'm then going to move towards that cat okay and attack it all right, sounds good. Isn't uh, that that's just... a nat 20. Yeah, that hits. That's a crit. That's a crit. It is a crit. Yeah, that's, that's double damage. a lot of dice. Remember, you have a plus one weapon. When do barbarians get the... Yeah. Fifth level? No, later than that. Level? Much later, later than that. Oh, yeah. shitty roll. Uh... 14 points of slashing damage. All right. Oh, uh, and then I'm raging too, so. Plus two? Yeah, plus two, so that's 16. Okay, perfect, yep. And so, uh, uh, so. Carry the ax into the backside of this cat as it howls out in pain. So that's the first okay. creature I've hit. Yeah, uh, has disadvantage on any attack that isn't against me. Yep. And when it hits a target other than me, that creature has resistance to that damage. Okay. So as long as I'm raging, that effect stays. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. All right. Um, <clears throat> the cat in front of Yeti uh, reaches out to attack you. Wait. Again? No, that was that was the other cat. The, this is Smoke's cat. Sorry, Smokey's cat. Yeah, that's how you have them labeled. Yeah. Smoke's cat, Smoke Yeti's cat. cat. Literally how I have it labeled. <laughs> um, the one in front of you, Smoke, reaches out after it and attacks you and like lunges forward to attack you with a seventeen to hit at disadvantage. Oh, with disadvantage, uh, it's a 17 to hit. That's still hits. Roll the same number. Um, you need to make a strength save. Okay. Max ammo. Huh? Jingle dice. 13 Jingle points dice. of piercing damage, have down to six. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've got 11 points. Or sorry, I rolled an 11 on my strength save. Okay, uh, you fall prone. And you my damage? Because you're you have it. Did you roll with advantage because you're raging? Oh, that's right. That's right. You were picking on your knives with the knife. Fuck off. That's worse. <laughs> okay. Um, now that you're prone and off the ground, it'll roll again. And what it'll was my hate. first damage? Uh, six, six points of piercing damage. It rolled. Is that half? And that 20, that is already halved. It rolled a natural 20 to hit you now that you've gone prone. For... It has disadvantage. No, it has disadvantage if it hits somebody else other than you. It's afraid, though. Oh, it's, it's afraid. afraid. So it's just a straight roll. So it's the first dice I rolled was the natural 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, the second one is. 19 <laughs> points of piercing damage have <laughs> down to eight. Holy shit. I rolled really well on the 2d10. <laughs> Smoke is looking a little weary. Yeah, and that is the end of that cat's turn. So is this cat. Like, you have 
<clears throat> right into the side of it. And it's blood's pouring out of its left leg as it's taken it's down and as kind of break. backed off a bit. Uh, yeah. Maximus, you're up. Okay. I will... Um... I'll follow the end of my rope. I'll hand over hand and walk my way up to smoke and I'll cast cure wounds on smoke. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm going to dump it at second level. Sure. Yep. And that's 2d8. I've seen a guy for it. Big money. Don't fuck me, Gil. Eight. Eight plus three is 11 points of healing. Nice. I'm just going to go like back to back with smoke and take a look around. Is there anyone behind us? Okay. So of the four cats that are attacking the party, three cats. only three? Yeah. Okay. So I don't even see a fourth cat. If there is You're one. just testing him. I'm just doing... so yeah. There's like the three we could see and the one over there, right? Yeah. I, well, I'm just. <laughs> I'm saying I'm looking around. <laughs> yep. I'm like covering uh-huh. our six. Like, is there anyone? Is there anyone? Anyone? <laughs> so there's you, and then smoke, and then this Craig cat, and mm-hmm. then Quincy is somewhere invisibly in that mess. And do I see Ponto? Do I, I see... you see Ponto? The hole where Ponto went you down see, into. You see I the saw... cat on. I stood up. You know, yeah, you stood up. So I see the tip of his head. You see this uh, large armored, uh, small armored individual battling this cat. Okay. I'm like two foot three with the armor. I'm huge. <laughs> you are huge. I'll say, uh, Ponto, are you out there? I don't see you. Ponto! No, no response. No response. No. Just a grin. Mm-hmm. Just hear this. There's, there's some some subtle weeping about <laughs> what, like ten feet behind him. I'm just strong. I can other, handle this. On the other side of another one of the cats. <clears throat> yeah, hey, we're 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 doing we're doing great. We're doing great. Ponto, hit things. Cat. Hit things, Ponto. And I want to give him bardic inspiration. <laughs> okay. Hit better. Hit harder. Mm. Hit faster. Okay, I'm marking it off. Is that everything for you, Maximus? Yeah, I'm I'm back to back with uh, smoke. Yep. Uh, Ponto, the cat that's beside you, swings out with its claw to attack you uh, with a natural one and misses as it swings wildly over your head as you move a little bit to the side. Uh, Yeti, you're up. Ponto, you're on deck. Yeti will use his bite. Yeah, bite attack. Bite? Bite attack? I couldn't remember if it was a bite or a... It probably has a bite or a claw. That is a 13 to hit the crag cat. That just barely hits. It does? Oh, nice. Okay, so that is... Uh, 13 points of piercing damage. Mm-hmm. And the target must make a DC 13 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Okay. Sounds good. I don't have it, any of my allies. It knocks. It it falls beneath your yeah. <laughs> feet and mouth. Victory. <laughs> I just get the one attack, so that's my turn. Oh, just you can knock it prone as part of the attack. Yep. You don't get the bonus action part? Nope. Okay. That's unfortunate. I'm a dire wolf. I'm not a crack cat. So. I know. Um, That's my turn. Ponto, you're up. Quincy, you're on deck. I am your going... nose to nose and toes to toes. I'm going to hit it with a hammer again. You hit it with a hammer. Tink, tink. Tink, tink. Whiff. I'm going to use a bardic inspiration for it to hit. I can do that. Right? Yep, it's a d6. Uh, that's a 13 to hit. 13 just hits. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, six points of damage. Okay. Four of them being lightning damage. 
Awesome. And I will bonus action punch it with the glove. Yep. Uh, 12 to hit. Misses as you swing wide. Need more inspiration. Yeah. Well, I technically have a point of inspiration, which I have to use. A point? He has uh, DM inspiration yep. that is burning. Yep. Now Ooh. that's a 22 to hit. Absolutely. Supposed to use that to fuck up the party. <laughs> Tempted. <laughs> Tempted. Uh, that. Uh, five points damage. Perfect. All right. That's everything for you, Ponto. Way to go, yeah. Ponto! Ponto! Yeah. Ponto attacks. That's everything for you, movement. Nope, I'm going to stay there. Okay. Quincy. Uh, Quincy's going to use half his movement to stand up. Sure, you're invisible still. You slide around kind of somewhere behind Maximus and Smoke. Okay. Um... There's only three cats I can see. Correct. Uh, where are they in comparison? In con- like, how big of a range do you need? Oh, I like to. I'm standing here. Where are they? Yeah, uh, one's in front of you, obviously, on the other side, and then there's one to your left and right. Okay. <coughs> hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna cast dissonant whispers on um, the one. In, uh, how close are they to me? Well, you're beside smoke, and smoke's so fighting one. One, like, so literally 10 right feet away from you, and like 15 feet, and probably like another 15, 20 feet. Okay. So and none of them are right. on top of me, and the other no, one's in. Correct. I'm, okay. I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on the one that smoke is fighting. Okay. What kind of okay. attack or save is it's that? It's a Remember, it's got throw. disadvantage already. It's mm-hmm. a saving throw. It's not uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage on the saving throw? Uh, no, no, no. Orienting melody. Actually, no. I'm gonna cast chaos bolt. Fuck that. Okay. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Go Nova. Yeah. yeah. Bounce that shit. And I'm gonna do it level two. Well, it is level two. <laughs> You're gonna do it at level two because it's a level two spell. Yeah, That's, you are. No, it's not. No. No, it's a level one. one. Yeah. I'm oh. gonna do it level two. Um. Okay. So I gotta roll again. Yeah. And I can add my bardic inspiration. Right? You can to hit, but you don't have to use it. You can use it after you see the roll. Correct. Okay, 16. 16 hits. Yeah. So I rolled 2d8 two D and 1d6. And, and 2d6. Yes, 2d6. Any doubles? We don't know yet. Ouch. Wow, wow. wow. Uh, I've got uh, double sixes. On the sixes, but that, that's it's not what you eights. want. It's got to be on the eights. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that lots of damage, though? Uh, yeah. Max damage? For the sixes, at least. Yeah. That's pretty good. What kind of damage? It's uh, force damage. Yes. Perfect. Unstoppable. Uh, 12, 14, 18 points of damage. Shit. Yeah. Hmm. Quincy becomes visible right behind the smoke as he moves over and like. Oh, I, I had advantage. I never rolled. Okay, good. I had advantage. <laughs> I rolled a one on the second one. Yeah. Uh, your hands <laughs> kind of move in a similar a motion as this orb kind of pulses out and kind of shoots around and kind of violently turns and smacks straight into this cat. And you hear this cat unnervingly yelp, and then you hear a snap as it kind of stops moving and just kind of drops. Nice. Okay. Victory. How on that pussy, you Quincy. <laughs> well, that led the old time around to tell you to show you how to deal with the pussy. <laughs> wow, that was a journey to get there. <laughs> yeah, that was a journey. <laughs> pussy. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what happened. As Quincy finishes that, uh, the cat in front of you, Yeti, uh, strikes out with his his bite and bites down on you with another natural twenty. He's uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so he stands up for half of his movement. Why first. did you say that? So I'm just 
set this probably disadvantage. Oh, unfortunately. Uh, nine points of piercing of damage. There, you know. Nine points? Yeah. I rolled awful on the D10s. Nine <laughs> points of piercing damage as it bites down on you. Okay, and you, you didn't need cast to make fairy a, fire on that one, did you? No, you need to make a strength save now. Oh, we're doing opposing strength saves? Yeah, it's doing yeah, the same thing. It's a shoving match. Uh, 17. Yeah, it saves. Uh, <clears throat> okay, sounds it, good. You going to push it prone again? Like, uh, the, the, Smoke, you're up. The prone. cat in front of you has dropped dead uh, and can I moving. get into flanking with one of the other cats? Uh, you can get into flanking with the one that's attacking Yeti or Ponto, no problem, with your movement. Yeah, I'll go to Ponto. Okay, so you can you swing over to Ponto. How far does he go? Past me. 25 feet. Okay, then he doesn't sure. pull me anywhere. Because yeah. we're Oh, yeah. Dead. I forgot about that. Oh, 25 yeah. feet. He pulled 25 feet, yeah. and that's as far as he can go. Yeah. Or I'm getting dragged. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at advantage. Good thing I have advantage. Thank God I have advantage. 21. Yep, that hits. That's not bad. That's a 10 plus 1, 11 points of slashing. Make sure it works. It's a wood fire, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, you swing out and bury your axe into the other side of this one. Wood fire. And uh, yeah, some clean hit. More modern. So you've moved yeah. and you've swung. Is there? I don't know if there's any it's other bonus actions you can do. I yeah. uh, no, not that. Do anything it's good. Wood fire. Okay. I'm already raging. Did you take damage? Me? Yeah. Doesn't he have to take damage every turn? Or attack? Or attack? Okay. Or attack? He attacked. Uh, the cat that was attacking Quincy is no longer moving, so we will pass on to Maximus next. So there's one in front of me, oh, no, no, behind me. There's one that uh, Smoke has moved over towards with Ponto, and there's mm -hmm. another one on the other side fighting Yeti. Okay, well, since Smoke went to this one, yeah, uh, with Ponto, I'm gonna fire my bow at the one that Smoke's attacking. Okay, yep. Because he's he's guiding me towards my next target. Obviously, if he's attacking that one next, I'm gonna attack that one next. Mm -hmm. Shame, shame. What? <laughs> what? Okay. That hmm. is uh, 19 to hit. Yep, that hits. Okay. And oh, what are we at for damage? I think it's a six. So you and the cat okay. are kind of like rolling. Yeah, is... we keep tripping each other over and over and over. Rolling around the... And we're both large. It is six points of damage. Okay, all Thank right. Um, and so this arrow pierces yeah. its hide. Yeah. Yeah. There's a sound that rings out. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds like dong, 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 dong. We've been waiting dun, this whole time. Dong, dong, dong. I like and this I one. I give smoke bardic inspiration. Ooh. That's a D6. Some guitar, some good tunes. Well, this is much this bass. is the Warwick. It's a bass. You're not going to get any guitar sounds out of the bass. I'm waiting for some guitar. No. Look, I got a list. They're all bass songs. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> Finish it, Smoke. Finish him. Finish him. Is that everything for you? Uh, that was my attack, and. I guess I could do a bonus action, but I think I'm good. You let me know. Okay, I'm good. Uh, the cat that is engaged with Ponto and Smoke will use his action to disengage from you, both of you, and run away. And it will run 40 feet straight off the cliff. What? The one that is engaged with Smoke? 
It jumps off the cliff, basically? Yeah, it runs off and then starts climbing down Mm. away from you guys. Oh. Mm. Attack of opportunities? Disengaged. And they both took their turn at the same time? No, I said the one. Oh. Smoke and Ponto were engaged. Okay. So there's still one left. Yeah, and Yeti is engaged with it. And it is Yeti's turn. Yeti will do his attack. Mike's dice suck. (laughs) (laughs) I miss. Okay. (laughs) Just roll a d2 and times it by 10. Quincy, you're on deck. (laughs) I am going to... Bonus action, defensive field, and okay. give myself three temporary hit points. Amazing. Ouch. He goes a little ouch. Then I'm within like 10, 15 feet of the other one, the last one. <clears throat> yeah, you're within distance of getting there, but you're going to be walking over through the field. Uh, towards uh, Yeti. Well, Wolf Yeti. Weddy. <laughs> Weddy. The Weddy Workshop? Uh, okay, I will I will go over and I will attempt to get in a flanking position of the rolling yeah. Yeah. cats. Trying to get a cat dog. Position. The dog cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a wolf. Can I flank? Yeah, sure. All right. And we're going to start with a punch this time. That's a 19 plus 5. 24 to hit. Hit. Oh, yeah. The punch hits. Hits the right one. Uh, yes, he did. Five points of damage. Punches right into the side of the cat. You hear this. Uh, second punch. Yeah. Uh, 22 to hit. Yeah. Yes. Max 11 points of damage. Wow. As you bury so your push. fist into this thing, Ponto's fish kind of like push. disappears into the fur as you can see, like, and bones start to crack as po- the vengeance of Ponto and his, these cats that have sprung upon you. That's Ponto punchy power. <laughs> the, helmet, the helmet comes Ponto back. Found and blood coming down from the face. Yeah. Stupid cats. Quincy, you're up. Okay. Incel. Is that one dead? No. No. Uh, 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 Mind sliver. (laughs) The saving throw. Yes, uh, intelligence. Intelligence. Okay. Uh, That is a 16. Are you fucking kidding me? I rolled a 19 minus 3. Not gonna work. Smart kitty. <laughs> and the Nasty spell kitty. bounces off of it. And, bullet and hits yourself. So now make the cat save yourself. What? <laughs> save yourself. You were f- deflected it? Yeah. That's how spell turn it. Oh, oh, oh. You didn't use that on Chaos Bolt. He's saving it. For your intelligence save. (laughs) Saving throw ability, not an attack. Uh, uh, 15 minus 1 is a 14, and my DC is a 14. (laughs) I just passed my own spell. (laughs) Okay, yeah, all right. Wow. All right. It was Uh, almost a brain freeze. So you see this bolt kind of kind of clasp onto the cat and then reflectively gets thrown off and propels itself right back at you, Quincy. And you hear the voices like, fuck off, don't do that again. <laughs> um, and it's the end of Quincy's turn. This cat that is engaged with uh, Yeti will disengage and will also run off the edge, <coughs> uh, running away from you guys as it sees itself losing the battle and would rather run away being hurt rather than be dead like the one in its friends. That will close combat. I roll it. Go to the cliff edge. Can I still see it? No. 
You can't see it. Well, sure, make a perception check. Can we it start an avalanche? Certainly try. Well, I think we're eating pussy tonight. We need a mount. We gotta get him his mount. <gasps> oh, you have been holding on to that for the entire battle. Fifteen. Don't see it. Damn it. Uh, I, I'm gonna start cutting up that cat for dinner. <laughs> you can see Garrett and the dog mountain climber, and his dog is kind of like huddled over in the area, kind of like. The dog is kind of perpetually protecting the its owner. Uh, it's ten o'clock. We'll end tonight there. Seems like a good spot to end. We'll start off next session with your guys' interaction with this mountain climb. Yeah, see if this uh See if he knows where the guy we're looking for. Yeah, see if Garrett knows where Gareth is. Yeah. Hopefully. I'll check my notes and see what his name is. Awesome, you do that. Let me know when you find <laughs> Thanks for listening to Perilous Pursuits. Be sure to check out our website at perilouspursuits.com for new episodes, news, and other information. In the meantime, go give your Craig Cat a walk. Give your owlbear a big hug. Go play some D&D.